I made it. Hey, I made it, okay? 5.30 Pacific, it's, we're here. I made it. Okay. We're waiting for the presentation to start. Oh my God, I can't hear it. Am I gonna be able to hear this? Yeah, right? <laughs> what if I just can't hear it? Let's hope so. I'm gonna make a tweet. Uh, I could I, I could put this on, I guess. You guys know what's coming up, but why is that? There we go. We'll talk about this real quick. Well, let me go like this. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take this. I'm, I'm no why would there's no intro necessary. This is gonna start here in like two minutes. Oh, I have to kill the bra. I gotta kill the notifications too. All right, let's do that. Uh, no notifications tonight. They are going off for the Game Awards 2018. I'm gonna wait for people to get here because there's another thing. There's something else we're doing. Something else we're doing. Face cam? Oh, wait. Are you telling me you didn't think there was gonna be a face cam? Huh? You didn't think that? Hold on, I gotta fix it. It's in the wrong spot. Hey! How are you? This is the Game Awards. We're waiting for it to start. And before it does, why don't we peruse something else, too? I mean... <laughs> BAM! This is the bingo board. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing please bingo. take your seats. Take your the seats, show everybody. is about to begin. This is the... This, hey, this, the, uh, this is the bingo board we're going to be using. Everybody take your seats. This, we're playing Super Bingo, as you can tell. This can't be on the screen. Look at how, like, you can't read any of that. So I need to like have this open. Oh fuck, I need to have this open. Like over here. But first of all, uh, what's very important is Fortnite is the middle spaces. Because it's, it's going to be game of the year, guaranteed. That's the guaranteed space. And uh, let me move this so we can let- Hey, here we go, it's starting! I'm right on time! Link, link the board? I didn't upload it to anything. It's like on my computer. I don't have, I don't have any access to it. Hold on. Wait, wait, just wait, wait, wait. wait. There it is. There it is. <laughs> There's like too much space. It's all right. We got one. We got one. All right, I need to see. Because I have my bingo. Hold on, I gotta get this back up here. Thank God they have a weird long intro. Good thing I didn't put this on. So there, you got it. You got your bingo board ready. Because here. I'm, every time there's something happens, I got an opportunity here. Make sure we let's see here. No one saw this coming. That says mispronunciation, by the way, at the top here. Celebrity presenter. Is there anyone about long runtime in the beginning? Loud? No, no, no. That's not the loud I'm talking about. I'm talking about unbearable, like you, the <laughs> already a mispronunciation. 
I, it's not me mispronouncing, it's them mispronouncing. It's alright, we, 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 we'll go back to that. Here we go! The Game Awards! Oh, uh, really important by the way, there's a couple of things on there that say wine. Uh, I don't have a wine opener and I couldn't fucking open the bottle and I almost broke it. So I, I bought a bottle of wine specifically for this, and I couldn't do use it. I don't know how to open a bottle of wine without a like a, a opener. So uh, this is um, this is this is rum. So I've replaced wine with rum, but I ain't drinking. I ain't drinking more than five of these tonight. This presentation's like fucking forty-five minutes. It'll be fine. All right. So a couple of really important things here. We might as well do it right now, so, uh, well, well, while we wait, if you could please, get over to your game board and put, uh, over Fortnite Game of the Year. Because that's absolutely, uh, going to win. Let's just get that covered now. That's the free space, guys. You know what I mean? So, I already got four spaces. <laughs> Fortnite isn't even nominated. Oh, well, that doesn't fucking matter. That's it's the game. Uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna get a Fortnite dance. I can fucking guarantee that. <laughs> Whatever. Who gives a shit? Here it comes. This is it! It's on the way! Fortnite came out last year? Yeah, but Fortnite BR didn't come out till 2018, right? Uh, it's 534. Let's go, buddy. Dude, Fortnite came out last year. Like, the actual Battle Royale mode came out last year. Is that for real? It doesn't matter. It's fucking game of the year. It's guaranteed. <laughs> Doi! You know what I mean? Doi! What's this? Game announcement! Spider-Man, Sekiro, we already know these ones. These are, are these all Fortnite? Oh, we gotta, I gotta pay attention to these, because there's a lot of them. This is super bingo, by the way. I think the first thing we're gonna get is car on stage. I really think so. I think this can be a big right, fucking car. Here we go, everyone. Welcome to the Game Awards pre-show. I am just. This is the pre-show. The main show is on the way at the top of the hour, and I can't wait to share it with you. But right now, we're gonna recap some of this year's nominees, highlight Fortnite. what's on the way, present some Game Awards, and unveil some of our many never-before-seen world premieres. That wasn't this that loud. This is the fifth year of the Game Awards. I simply can't believe it. And each year we tried to build on the moments you love. What if like none of these what fucking things happen? loud and clear from the community. And actually it's a little intimidating because we got such a great response. We'll make it louder? Show. You know, this year we're bringing back the Game Awards Orchestra. We're making that bigger and better part of the Fuck, show. I, think, I didn't put the ways. orchestra on We're here. expanding the reach of the show to many more platforms. So you'll be able to watch it around the world in many different Hold languages, on, which I think is really important that we can have people around the world kind of share Nobody our booed. We're allowing people to vote in new ways. Um, you know, gamers get to choose the winners alongside our judge board. And this year you can vote on Discord I'm server, so you can vote on Twitter, Facebook, even gamers? with your voice I, he on didn't say Amazon it, Alexa and Google Assistant. We have, uh, I think, more New games being announced this year at the show than ever before. I can't before. wait to get the. I can't um, wait to get all the really mobile game announcements. A lot of studios around the world have been working in secret to kind of prepare for the game awards. One of the things we found last year that fans really liked were these giveaways and special incentives to kind of watch the show and. Ball, two bald games guys, games no. Love. Uh, Steam, we did something called a game giveaway, <laughs> which was amazing. People <laughs> just got excited because if you were watching the show, 
Steam Santa would just sort of drop games into your account if you were lucky enough. So we're doing that again, and we're expanding that um, in free. a lot of really interesting ways. Free we also stuff, do the right? Game Awards sale, and this is a chance for gamers around the free? world to get special offers on nominated games on their favorite gaming <laughs> system. And this year, we're working again with but no, 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 PlayStation nothing. Did, Store, did it happen? It with didn't Xbox, happen yet. With Nintendo eShop, with Steam to create special yet. offers on the nominees. And every platform will do this differently. There'll be some games that are across all, some only on certain ones. It's happening right now. Is it happening right? All right, well, there you go. Show something and for free. Say, oh, that's amazing. This just one I want to go buy. All right, where this is it? Game, something for free. But I get a special offer on it tonight. Let me go grab it. And for, the something stories is that free. matter the most to me coming out of the show are sometimes when these game developers will call me up on the Monday after a small indie team and say, you know what, Jeff? Like, it was cool we were in the show, but we actually sold like a lot of games this weekend. That makes all the hard work worthwhile for everyone on the team. I this think, is a confusing bingo board. Platform, no, it's not. And we can drive an audience to check out a game that they're really going to love. This is a free show. This, now, this shit count. Was this an even incredible count? year in gaming. And we say it every year, but this industry continues to get bigger and better. Did he say cutting so edge? using this tagline, worlds will change, in our promo oh. campaign. And I think it started with some people thinking, like, this is the you know announcement of this game. But really, the tagline, to be honest with you, oh, what it shit. means Five community subs. is that a lot of existing From, games have evolved uh, this year in YDNA. different ways. Thank you for I look five at some of the community subs. Thanks in game storytelling that Fortnite's done with the rocket launch and the cube and all these other moments and how other games have evolved, you know, No Man's Sky, it's like nominated this year and it's like, it's a almost- Wait, why is No Man's you know, Sky nominated for a game board? It. So the worlds will change really reflects the idea that the games that we initially play evolve over time. Used to be you would no, you know, get your cartridge- All right, so that's CD, bullshit. So then Fortnite the gets to be game of the year on. then. Now you keep those games in your systems and what you're gonna see this year at the Game Awards is a lot of these sort of ongoing games are going to evolve at our show too in interesting ways. So that's kind of a tease of that theme. Fortnite that season the seven. The world you know. I should have put that on you there. You may not know anymore after the Game Awards. We often get asked how we pick the winners for the Game Awards. The nominees are selected by a jury of by press jury. from around the world. There are over 65 That's supposed different to be the publications. Press. Is that like what they're saying? They often have staffs that have yeah, played all these games. Yeah, it's a bunch of fat journalists so that we think like, that's sit around on their so iPads. Survey everything out there in a very neutral, agnostic that, way. What, what was that supposed to mean? Here are the games that we think are the best of the best. Those lead to the nominees, which have been announced. And then the winners are selected by a blended vote between the jury and also the public that gets to vote and help influence it. I have to like, keep like, track over here. hundred percent fan voting? And a lot can be socially engineered and I don't want awards to go to games that just happen to, you know, be able to have more Twitter followers or, you know, buy a bunch of ads like to this. somehow convince people to vote for them. So I really think it's important that the yeah, right listen games him for win. Me and we have an authentic, credible process, and that's how we're gonna continue with um, voting for the Game Awards. Okay, Fortnite Game of the is Year is such a competitive category in 2018. So will it be Marvel's Spider-Man or Red Dead Redemption? This whole thing is pretty Or much will it done. be Fortnite? <laughs> Good one. Or will it be God of War? Close your heart to their desperation. Celeste. Celeste Pizza! Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If I love I those things. We will become. Your Monster Hunter World. You're on the A-list, right? We're about to find out at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see how this ends. It's gonna be. But right now, here's a look at our first world premiere. Okay, here it comes. 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 Here it is. Nintendo. What do we get for Nintendo? Pop album yeah. video game. Pop figure. Pop figure. Uh, is this a mobile game? Uh, it is really fucking loud. It is really loud. Very, very loud. It's on the Switch. All right, so that that's that's not Banjo Kazooie. That's a uh, that's a loud Switch game. What the audience have to say? Okay. 
Look for a guy sleeping, that's really important. Hello everyone watching around the world, I'm Jeff Keeley and welcome to the Microsoft Theater for the Game Awards 2018. Everyone ready for a big show? This is so exciting. We what's have like, what's our countdown biggest for? show ever coming up at the top of the hour. There is so much news, so many surprises. The Game Awards Orchestra, and we are streaming live around the world yes, in over 45 platforms. I want to say to hi to everyone watching in China and in India and all across the world. I know it's late in Europe, but stick around because we have an amazing show ahead for you. With 17 awards, minutes, it actually starts. Of course, some new game announcements. I know everyone's anticipating. Oh, dude, things. the Frozen Thrones behind him. And a lot of special guests. We're going to kick off the show tonight or the pre show before we get to the main show at the top of the hour with a guy who loud. made some headlines last year, here Joseph he Ferris, here, here he comes. at the Game Awards. Mm -hmm. Here's the fuck the Aust, forced well, fuck the Austers meme. Early in the night, Joseph. Wait for it, hold on. It's, it's actually nice to be the first guest, to be honest with you. Actually, you should have the award. Look what you have put together, man. Like, it, Thank you. This, this guy said, it, it's, it's crazy, it's five years. Imagine in 10 years what you will do. I hope I'm we're really, I'm really proud going. to what, be here. What about really Jeff can't get the mic back? And I'm really excited to be here again. Well, you're a nominee tonight as well. Congratulations for well, best thanks. game direction for A Way Out. All right. Okay. I'm expecting to win, so hopefully okay. I get up on stage. I, I, I was going to say, I can only imagine your speech. Well, Joseph, uh, we're excited uh, to have I'm you here for tonight. Uh, well, get me started, Jeff. <laughs> the internet wants to hear from you, right? How do you think we're doing this year compared That's, to the that, other That counts. Well, we just started, but I feel yeah. like it's Filled becoming in. bigger and bigger. And yeah. I, I'm telling you, in five years, this is going to be the craziest thing ever in the whole world. The camera's back. Definitely right. short. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, the camera's <laughs> here. But I like to have, <laughs> I like to have connection with the audience. You know? That's know. the thing. The last year when I was here, people yeah. thought I was crazy. I mean, I am a bit crazy. Yeah. But it's the audience and like the, the way they were like Everyone cheering. Everyone around the world. Yeah, Everyone around the world. Of course. We all love games. Yeah, but right. I can't see the people in the world. I everybody love games, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here. Great to be here. All right, well, Joseph, uh, you are here for another purpose he's really, right now. We're going to give away he our for? first award of the evening. Right, here's the first uh, award. For best action game. And okay. let's take a look right now at the nominees for best action game this year. As voted on by the jury and fans, the action game nominees are Call, Call of Duty. Duty Black why Black is that Store, up there? Dead Cells. Why the Destiny fuck is Call of Duty Sagan, up here? Far Cry 5. Mega Man? And Mega Man 11. Mega Man Joseph, 11. Uh, we'd love for you to do the honors Mega and let Man us know 11? who wins best action game this year. The best action games is Dead Cells. Dead Cells. Congratulations to the guys from Motion Twin. Here they come. Here they come. Hold on. How are you guys? Nice to meet you. Is evolved? You guys looking very dapper. And this is for you. Group, group right presentation. Here it's heavy. Thank you so much. The stage is yours. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Congratulations. How's it feel? Uh, this is so unexpected that we yeah. even prepared a speech for this award, actually. Yeah. So. Just a special thought for the whole team back in France, yeah. are hopefully watching us at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I hope you guys are awake because, <laughs> yeah, you just made it, so congratulations. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations, guys. That's an incredible game. I know a long time get coming, one? right? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, uh, and just a special thanks uh, for our incredible community of fans. Uh, it may sound a bit cliche, but we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah. So thank you so much for your support. You want to say something also? <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it feels like I like your hat, man. It's cool, man. Yeah, oh, thank nice you. Fashion sense. <laughs> really cool. no, Should have put a guy in a fucking hat really on Really amazing. Uh, yeah, really unexpected, and we are really proud for our fans and all everyone who loves the game. Uh, the game be. is incredible. Yeah. You guys did a great job. Thanks for coming all this well, way to the Game Awards. Thank you Congratulations on your first of many Game Awards, we hope. <laughs> Who's that? I Thanks very much, guys. Thank all right, you so thank you. Congratulations. Thank you Joseph, thank you. thank you as well. well Good luck thank tonight. You. To see you on stage I was going to say, they didn't thank their mothers. A trophy maybe with your name on Take it. Take care, right. Jeff. Thank you very much, Joseph. Uh, fill them in, guys. Uh, we've got didn't some thank their mothers. to get to you uh, here before we get to the main show at the top of the hour. Uh, right now, we're going to take a look at the first game from a new studio up in Montreal, Canada, Typhoon. It's published by 505 Games with support from Epic Games and Makers Fund. Check out the announcement of this title. It's a world premiere. Airlock reach. Airlock reach. Cabin pressure decreasing. Manual system overriding gates. Okay, kindred space. Once again, we would like to thank you for joining yeah, the, the, the awards haven't even started yet. How's that possible? For the eighth year running, Kindred has been voted the fourth best interstellar. That's a bald guy. That's a bald guy. Does that guy count? No, he doesn't count. That's not a real person. 
That, no, 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 it's gotta be a guy presenting on stage. It's gotta be a real person. Not just a bald guy in a video game. I can't believe they didn't think they're mom. What the fuck? This is No Man's Sky 2. Journey to the Savage Planet. I've no idea. Join the Pioneer Program, Savage. I don't know what that is. I don't know what we just watched. It was just like space stuff and a guy lying on the ground. That was the announcement of Journey to the Savage Planet. I'm now here with Alex Hutchinson, one of the founders of the new indie team, Typhoon Studios. So first of all, Alex, welcome to the show. Uh, why did you guys start this new studio up in Montreal? Uh, I think it's that moment in life, you know, we've been doing this about 15 years for myself, making games for other people, so it's incredibly uh, amazing to see a game we built on our own from nothing with friends of ours in the business, and to see it on at your show on the big Fill screen is, is super fulfilling. So, in a weird way, that's the, that's the start of the reason why. I just screamed right, that well, we're, so we're, loud. We love supporting I'm new so teams. Sorry. Tell us a bit about Journey to the Savage Planet, kind of a teaser trailer, so what kind of game is it? Yeah, so everyone they watch the teaser and they always say, "Is it a is it a, a you know a battle royale?" No, it's actually I was so not a happy. Battle royale. Is it I was a so happy. Game? No, it is not. Uh, it's an adventure game. You get dropped on a, a strange alien world by a company called Kindred Aerospace, who are very proud to <laughs> be the fourth best uh, interstellar space exploration company. So they drop you there with absolutely no gear, high hopes, and no ability, and they hope that you can uh, okay. solve the uh, the mystery of we what's on a, the savage a, planet. A missed handshake. Okay, is and a possibility how can we find order? out more about this game? When we get updates. Uh, so we're not going to show much gameplay until next year, but we're very excited. Oh, uh, no to do gameplay it. So we'll trailer! Gameplay Why did I know? and uh, uh, all kinds of new bits and pieces. I didn't put no gameplay trailer. All right, so uh, get ready for 2019, Alex. Thank you so much for coming down and uh, you. showing your game for the first time here at the Game Awards. We really appreciate it. All right, uh, now we're going to move on to present another award now uh, for okay. the best role-playing game, and the nominees in this genre the category are The Witcher Three, are The Witcher Dragon Three, Quest Eleven, The Witcher Three, Monster Hunter World. It's going to be Monster Hunter World. It better be. Nino Kuni 2, Octopath Traveler, and Pillars of Eternity 2. It's got Monster Hunter World. And this is an award right? I get to give out uh, for best role playing game. Let me open this one up. What even is this trophy? And the winner for best role playing game goes to Monster Hunter World. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, I can't scream. I'm like scared. Congratulations. They're all on stage. Hold on a second. What is this? It's for you guys. At least two people accepting an award. How does it feel? <laughs> Photo op. Selfie. Take a selfie. How's it feel? Yeah. Damn it. It's very great that we actually were able to come to come from Japan. Welcome. That's a good game. It was a good game. This game, we were talking with amongst the team members that it, it's kind of our goal to actually be able to hear, be here and receive the award. More than five no, 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 where is it? So we made the, we made it. Full circle, That's, that means a lot to all of us. Thank you so much. And one more thing. Two more, more bald guys? No. <laughs> we will have uh, great news for our fans soon. At least 10 people accepting the award. That's way too many. How soon? That's not going to be 10 people accepting the award. Okay, all right. <laughs> Scratch that off your bingo okay. card. All right. Thank well, congratulations, guys, on winning the best RPG He's for Monterey. watching. And congratulations He's on being nominated for Game of the screen. Year as well. So maybe we'll see you guys again on stage. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, well, you know, there's been a one. lot of gaming conversation happening on Twitter this year I using the hashtag The Game Awards. And to celebrate, Twitter decided to create their first Twitter gaming award. You, the fans, voted for the best conversation, and the winner... Out of all the big things that happened this year was Spider-Man's PS4 photo mode. 
Here it so comes you can go to selfie. Twitter Gaming now to see the announcement video of that winner. And of course, tweet up a storm all night about the Game Awards. There's some big news breaking that you definitely will, will want to be talking about. Now, we're also Anybody back on over Twitch there? this year. We've got an interactive extension that lets you predict the what? winners throughout the show. What? Uh, what is that? Host streaming, but there's also this interactive extension so you can go online to the Game Awards channel, pick your winners throughout the night, and at the end of the show, we'll share the final leaderboard and see who predicted oh, the most have that? awards. I didn't correctly. do that. Where is uh, that? All right, well, we've got some other awards to get to now. It's been an absolutely huge year for esports and coming up at the top of the hour in the main show the best esports right. player award will be presented by omen by hp but right now it's my honor to announce some of the other winners in many of the esports categories that we added this year to the show uh, so for the best esports team here are the nominees cloud nine has won this i think the past two or three years so we've got <laughs> stralis cloud nine every time fanatic london spitfire and og and the winner this year again is Cloud9. Oh, I can't so believe it! Cloud9 wins again. Congratulations to Cloud9. Now for the best esports game, the nominees this year were CS:GO, this Dota 2, Fortnite. Everybody's to laugh their ass of off Legends, if Fortnite wins it. Fortnite's gonna win it. It's gonna Overwatch. be fucking hilarious. All right, it's gonna be Fortnite. Kind of favorite, I guess. And the it's game award goes to Fortnite. Overwatch for the best esports game. I think that won last year as well. Overwatch All right, CSGO. Next up. The best esports event. The nominees is a new category this year. The E League Major Boston 2018 back in January. Evo, Evo 2018 Evo, right? this summer in Vegas. The League of Legends Welcome World Championship. The Overwatch League Grand Finals. Where's Rocket League? And the International 2018 up in Vancouver. Evo. And the League of Legends I mean, World biased. Championship Las wins. Vegas. Congratulations to LOL. All right, best esports host. Those nominees were Alex Golden Boy Mendez, Alex Machine Richardson, this. Anders Bloom. I apologize. With FJ Shocks Depotere. I know she's in Las Vegas tonight. Was that a mispronunciation? And, uh, Paul Red Eye Challenger. And the game award goes to Shocks. Congratulations. That's a mispronunciation. Get Next up, up the best esports coach. They're just, they're just Those running nominees this. are Reaper, Paracel. Zonic, Dylan Falco. He corrected, it doesn't count. No, that's still a mispronunciation. No, that counts. And YNK. And the best esports coach as voted by the fans, Reaper. Congratulations to him. Put it up, get it up there. Now, best esports moment. This is the top moment as voted on by the jury and fans. First up was C9's C9 comeback win comeback in triple win. overtime versus well, FaZe. They, that's, that's probably gonna G2 what, beating phase? RNG. KT versus IG base race and OG's massive upset of LGD, and Sonic Fox, is this, yeah, is this a war show 15 player, minutes? Side switch against Go One in DBZ. Is this like a 15 minute award show? He's going so C9's fast. C9's comeback win in Triple OT Everybody versus FaZe. C9, of course it's C9, Congratulations man. Congratulations again to C9. All right, well we've got more esports coming up in the main show, but right now we've got another world premiere. This is a favorite game of How mine close from are we a here? couple of years ago. And they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and say, hey, we've got something more we're doing we want to share with you at the Game Awards. So check that, check this out. I think you'll like it. World premiere. All right. Let's see it. This is a story of a video game called The Stanley Parable. You know The Stanley Parable, of course. After all, it was the video game I mean, sensation cool. of 2013. Don't you remember all those awards we were nominated for? And this year's winner for Best Narrative is... Are they going to the do another game? Us. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. <laughs> Papers, please. The Last of Us. Papers, please. The Last of Us. Yes, it was thrilling to be so unanimously recognized by our peers. Which is why we've locked the game's source code away, where it can never be touched by the greedy hand of capitalism. A pristine time capsule of perfect artistic integrity to be preserved for... Wait. What do you mean we never put the game on consoles? Of course we put it on consoles. This is a remake or a remaster. We didn't. Here it is. Excuse it me a moment. Stanley. Remake or remaster. Stanley Parable going to console. Fill it in, boys and girls! Roger. Stanley, I've had a great idea. I want to add new endings and new content. New adventures for you. Won't it be fun? Oh, shush, of course it will. We'll package it up with the original game and we'll put it on consoles and everyone will buy it again because they're suckers. Come This come. might be a joke. Daddy needs a third swimming pool.
What do you mean The Last of Us 2 is also coming out next year? All right, uh, Stanley Parable back again. Now is my honor to present the award for the Tell best student game. Judged by an incredible panel, including Megan Ellison from Annapurna, Todd Howard, Genova Chen, and my joke. good friend Hideo Kojima. Uh, the nominees are Combat 2018 from Norway, Dash Quasar from UC Santa Why, Cruz, Jira the, from Digipen okay. in Spain, Life from ISAR Digital in France, and Recharge they from MIT. They are powering through this and as fast as possible. The best student game. And congratulations to all the students who are here with us in the audience. This. Why? The best student game goes to Combat 2018 from Norway. Is this going to be this Norway. long of a presentation? Come on up, guys. How are you? One, this is yours. Two, the first of many game awards, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. How does it Better feel? Thank you, congratulations. Mother. It feels amazing to be on knowledge for the student game. Thank you so much for having this award. That's really great. Congratulations to you guys, and hopefully your game will come out soon. We'll get to play it. Yeah, in August, hopefully. Yeah. We're I don't think we're gonna get the mic the game on the thing. New name. They have Thank mics for everybody. Okay, new <laughs> so name. So be sure to check out. that out. Yes. All right. Um, we'd involved. also like to thank uh, the jury and all the people who voted for us, and of course our team. We're Martin here on stage with me, and uh, Aurora and uh, Tom Esten back in Norway, yeah. and uh, of course our school, Inland Norway University of Applied Sciences, and of course uh, our mentor, uh, Holar Vivito. A special thank to you. And your awesome. mother! Well, congratulations, guys. And we your hope mother. to see more of your game. The yeah. Student Game Award winner. We love doing that award. All right, we got another world premiere for you. This is from a small indie team of three guys who have been working on this game for the past five years. It's called Among Trees. And when I saw some footage of this, I said, we've got to share it with you. So check this out. This trailer uses pre alpha footage and represents a work in progress. It's not real. Is that no that's not a, is that an animal? No, it's not a trained animal on stage. <laughs> Some of these are not gonna fucking happen, but if they do, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Firewatch, yeah. Firewatch 2, Among Trees. I don't, okay. Alright, whatever, whatever. About, let's, 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 the guys that were just on stage, like student programmers. Alright, no. well now it's the top of the hour, and that means I think it's time for the Game Awards. Are you guys ready? Oh, this is now it starts? You know, this show is all about bringing everyone together that to celebrate game video awards? games. Uh, when that, I started this show five like years ago, my dream was to, to the people that were just awarded just awards. Come together to celebrate. Nah, nah, you guys just the pre-show shit. Games, this is the games, real game awards. This is the coming up that's right been now. Five years in the making for me. I can't believe it's about to happen. But to kick off the show, I couldn't think of anything better than this. Uh, please join me in welcoming, from Nintendo, Reggie Fizeme. From PlayStation, Sean Layden. Fill it in. And from Xbox, Phil Spencer. Lightning and the thunder, thunder, thunder. Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder, thunder, thunder. Fill it in. Feel the thunder. Oh, three titans of gaming. I can't wait till they announce. Tonight at the Game Awards, we come together as a community to celebrate video games, the most compelling and immersive form of entertainment in the world. As an industry, we are most powerful when we come together. Reggie's just gonna rip United that fucking blouse open. It's gonna be like, love Gino, confirm for, for Smash. Of games. We join with the viewers and gamers around the globe to celebrate creativity, innovation, and the role that video games play in popular culture. Okay. Together, we will continue to invite new voices, creators, and players into our worlds because when everybody plays, we all win. Cross platform. Because when for every we video game. see the strength of a United Gaming community, we remember that we've never seen a challenge that you can't defeat. This isn't the. Are we, are we making like a. We're united a superhero team? in our commitment to leading and pushing this industry the forward video game justice with new league. games, new experiences, and new ways for everyone to play. 
Good luck to all the nominees. And congratulations They're to doing all the, the winners. Thing. They're doing the thing with you. And enjoy read prompter the here. Game Awards. Read prompter Jeff, take here. it away. Read prompter Thank here. Thank you so read much, guys. Here. It's my favorite thing ever. I love it. Reggie, Sean, and Phil together on stage. What, what, what this do? show is all about. Uh, we have an amazing show ahead of you guys. <laughs> Wait, they just put them on stage and made them read a With an incredible performance by the Game well, Awards Orchestra, conducted by our amazing musical director, Lauren Balfe, featuring the legendary Hans Zimmer and Harry Gregson Williams. And they will be joined by a nominee tonight, Lena Rain and Sarah Schachner. They are premiering our brand new okay. theme for the Game Awards. I can't believe it. Enjoy the show. But I was going to do this too. I was going to put on full orchestra on stage, but instead I put fucking car, car on stage. This was going to be full orchestra on stage and I fucked it up. There's not going to be a car on the stage. It's not going to happen. <laughs> cover it anyways. No, I can't, I can't just cover it because it exists. You understand? Hydroponic. Nobody sneezed yet. We got like three hours though, guys. Somebody's gonna cough into that microphone. And talk it. And somebody's gonna sleep. It's gonna be a fight on stage. Why did I put car? They're not going to fit car onto the fucking stage. It was supposed to be orchestra, okay? Fill it in. That's cheating. Here's the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Are we sleeping? Amazing. How about that? The Game Awards Orchestra. Hot Zimmer, I Harry Gregson Williams, Lauren sleeping. Balfe with Sarah and Lena. What an amazing start really to the show. Welcome to really the Game Awards, clear. everybody. Wow, this is so cool. And we are live around the world on over 45 platforms. And tonight, including millions German of people 85. around the world are coming together to do one thing, which is celebrate the video games that we love. So thank you all for joining me, and thank you. We've got an amazing show for you. We've got a show filled with, of course, awards, some new game announcements, many things that you've been rumored online may oh, happen tonight. rumored online. We've had an amazing year for games. So let's get right to the show with our first big award of the night. To present our first award, he's a mega popular YouTuber, and she's a Twitch streamer nominated tonight for Content Creator of the Year. Please welcome Jacksepticeye and Pokimane. I, I didn't put him on there. That's, that's a celebrity, right? Is that a celebrity appearance? That counts, right? I was gonna put YouTuber. No, no, it doesn't count. We're pretty lucky in that we're able to play games for a living. And so to all the developers here and watching around the world, thank you for doing what you do and making the games that we don't love. Don't have green hair? <laughs> well, she's, got, she's got green hair, doesn't it? I know, she's yes. got green hair, thank you. She? We're here to present the award for Best Narrative. These are the games whose stories captivated us with complex characters, surprising twists, and profound philosophical ideas. Bad handshakes, ideas. coming up. Here are the nominees. Uh, Best narrative. But this isn't like a family get together. This is like an award show. I didn't choose to be different. To betray my own kind. I didn't choose to start the war. You did. I can't wait till two bald guys get on that stage. It's gonna be my most favorite villain of the night. I can guarantee it. This is a nightmare. I know who you Life are. Life is Strange what Two, Episode Daniel, One. Go! What you and your brother have is the most important thing. Spider-Man is just, but it's Spider-Man. I don't know if I agree with that. He needs our help. Spider-Man is just, hey, look, we Doesn't want me. Dead? Yeah, the narrative was great when it was written, you know, fucking ten years, fifteen years ago. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Yeah. 
Shots fired. What? No, I'm just saying like Spider-Man like as a series, like Doc Octopus RP exists. It wasn't like an original and the game award goes character. to Alright, it's gonna be Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah! Thank you from the entire team at Rockstar to all our fans, everyone who voted for us. Like um, we Dallas love telling screen. stories just as much as we love creating worlds, and it's been incredible seeing people connect to the game and go on Arthur's journey for themselves. Um, I'd li like to thank our amazing cast. They brought this to life in ways we no, didn't even imagine. No, get it off! And you can see tonight and across get this category, it it's been an outstanding year for games and storytelling, and there's still so far we can take it, so uh, on to the next one. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a great fucking game. That's like a fantastic video game. I'm German is moved invisibly drunk. Throughout the like night, we're going to take a look minutes. at the future of games with world premieres. Now, some of them you've probably heard of, and some of them you definitely <laughs> haven't. We've got some good surprises tonight. And this is you one of those that way. no one is going to see coming. Enjoy. Oh! <laughs> Idiots. Your stupidity may have doomed what is the this? universe. Wouldn't be the first time, sweetheart. Guardians of the Galaxy video game presentation? All who oppose our master shall fall. <laughs> Mankind had its chance to rule Avengers. He's just Marvel heroes at a closer camera angle. Terminating. Like to see it try, Scrappy. When the Black Order unites, death always prevails. If we want to survive this, we do it as a team. On iPad, iPhone, and Switch. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of cool, but that didn't look good. I shall be waiting here for you. That was Thanos. You missed it. Please welcome an actor <laughs> and the writer-director of the film Mid-90s. Here's Jonah Hill. <laughs> there he is. Shout out Celebrity to Woody presenter. Jackson, the best composer in the world. We might get bingo much earlier than I thought. <laughs> I am honored to be here tonight to introduce someone who has truly changed gaming forever. Someone who, in his own words, just wanted to make killer games with his friends and ended up making some of the world's most memorable titles. 30 years ago, he and his friends started with nothing. They worked in a small basement under a nurse's call center. Over the years, Greg Thomas and his team at Visual Concepts created <laughs> iconic games by following a simple <laughs> recipe. Hard work, strong ideas, and a passionate team. And that rep is, uh, recipe gave us NBA 2K. Greg, yeah, give it up. <laughs> Me, it does. Um, it does it. <laughs> Greg is a humble giant, but his forward thinking, passion, and dedication to excellence has made his name known throughout the industry. Let's take a look back at his highlight reel. Industry, industry icon. icon. <laughs> oh boy, I fucked up. I talk a lot of shit about this company. A lot. About visual concepts. Halftime show. <laughs> Showtime! He's 
scores! It is in the net! Oh, no, that's how you blow out the speakers, baby! 2K Sports Major League Baseball. You'll see why nice balls struck him out. Oh, boy. Home run! Could this, Could this be his moment? The NBA, right here on 2K Sports. The greatest basketball game in the world. This game, bigger than the court. And that put it down! This king is far from finished. <laughs> Very cool. Why that company? I'm honored to introduce companies. the 2018 industry icon, the legend, the myth, the goat, Mr. Greg Thomas. I mean, he did a lot. He did a lot for the industry. He did. He did, he did a lot for the industry. Thank you, Jonah. It's such an honor to be introduced by you. What the hell was that? Seeing a compilation of the games that we've created what the fuck over the last 30 the, years is lap. also very humbling. Do we have something like that For on anyone here? anyone who knows me, you know I've shied away from the spotlight. I'm not very comfortable being in the center of attention. This has never been about making a name for myself. It's always been about making great games. But this is an incredible honor. First, I need to thank my beautiful wife and family for allowing me to do you guys sleeping? everything <laughs> I've always loved to do. There have been many sacrifices, and they have been patient, <laughs> Mom, thank loyal, you. and understanding through it all. I love you all very much. Thank you. No, you, 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 did, you did a lot. You did a lot. And for the none industry. of this would be possible without my business partner and co founder, Scott Patterson, and my brother and the leader of the NBA 2K team, Jeff Thomas. I'd love for you guys to join me on stage. We're going to get two, two bald guys. We've been together since the very beginning, and we've always shared the same values and passions when it comes to making games. No. We never imagined that over the years, visual concepts would grow to where we are today, with six worldwide studios and more than 350 employees. The philosophy has never changed. It's all family to me. I also want to thank David Ismailer, Carl Sladoff and Strauss Zelnick from 2K and Take Two for believing in me and giving us the freedom to make games our way. And I... <laughs> and I owe everything I'm not even there. I'm to like my clapping. management team. <laughs> this team has been together for a long time. The culture of the company has always been about believing in our people. It's because we love working together and we all believe in the same things. You and I need to thank music. all of their families as well for supporting us and putting up with us. That can't be easy. Thank you so much. That's loud. All three of them start Without these dancing. people, there is no Greg Thomas receiving an award. There is no visual concepts. They are the real icons, and I share this award with them. Thank you very much. Wait, no, he got it. He got the name. Congratulations, Greg. Now, tonight, the Game Awards and Facebook Gaming are recognizing global gaming citizens, people who are enriching the lives of others around the world through video games. We're going to tell some stories tonight Facebook of three gaming. people that I think you should meet and hear their stories, and I'm so proud to have these in the Game Awards. First up, Steven Spawn from Able Gamers. Please take a look at his story. Uh, 
I don't know how I got where I am or what I'm doing. All I wanted to do was figure out how to play video games, and along the way, I figured out that I could help other people play video games too. I love that sad team. <laughs> When I was coming out of high school, I went to my guidance counselor to figure out what's next in life for me. They sat across the table from me, and they told me that I should go home and have fun with my remaining years because I'm going to die soon anyway. They told me to just go home and die. At the time, it kicked me down. But now, it's a memory that I look back on, and I realize that you can be disabled, you can be productive, you can be a valuable contributing member of society, and you can change the world by doing a few things along the way that no one else is willing to do. I'm proud to Cheers be to one of the leaders of Able Gamers in helping people with disabilities be able to conquer the challenges of getting back into playing video games. My mission is to enable people to use technology to reach out, to connect with a world that was otherwise inaccessible they're able to have a greater quality of life by having people in their lives. No, cheers to that. For real. Amazing. Steven, you rock. Three years ago, Psyonix burst onto the scene, and rocket-powered soccer has never been the same, with more than 52 million players worldwide. It's a two-time winner at the Game Awards, and now Rocket League is revealing their latest DLC right here. Check it out. DLC! Is, it, is that actually a game announcement, though? Come on. De announcing de downloadable content on the Game Awards? But it's Rocket League, so it'll be like an ice cream truck, right? It's a... All right, it's already filled in. Car on stage. Car reveal. <laughs> Just change it to car reveal. Who cares? That thing already would have been off. You took you, you took the fucking fondant off already. I don't play this game. I never played it. I played it once. I just didn't play it ever again. I mean, the game's cool, I guess, but I don't. Whatever. Clarence in the game now. I, I don't play Rocket League. I've heard it was fun. The people who played Rocket League, they think it's a fun game. They enjoy themselves in Rocket League. That's fun. Coming up, Christoph Waltz and Rosa Salazar hand out the award for best performance. And later, more surprise game announcements and musical performances. This is the Game Awards 2018. Hold on, are they going to get like actors on stage to act out stuff in the game? That's what I would fucking pay Wake for. Wake up. Wake up. No, no, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the ads now. The paths to be beat. And treasures won. And impossible tales to be sung. As we take on our foes, together as one. So what, yeah, we yeah. send our fears back to where they came from. I don't show... Whoops, that's my camera. I don't show fucking ads on this stream. I don't show ads on this stream. But I'll show... it. Wait, wait, wait. But this is like Smash Brothers, so I gotta put it back on. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate coming soon. In fact, who's that character? Who's that character? Who's that? The guy, the bear. Right now, we've got an exclusive action-packed clip from the new film, Alita Battle Angel, directed by Robert Rodriguez and produced by James Cameron. And coming to theaters February 14th. Check this out. I don't show ads on my stream. Sorry. I don't put advertising on my stream. Rip that flea! Whoa, it's Baraka! All right, that's back on. Fine. Watch her die. Such 
just gonna sit like this and hold the rest of the screen. Oh, cool. From the upcoming film, Alita Battle Angel. Please welcome Rosa Salazar and two-time Academy Award winner, Christoph Waltz. These are already celebrity presenters, but we gotta, we gotta, let's see. To deliver a powerful game performance, you must humanize a digital puppet made of polygons and textures. In a sense, the actor plays the surrogate for their audience, their entry point into the game's world and personalities. <laughs> then, unlike any medium, that, the connection continues and strengthens. That was when fucking the player sneeze. Controls that very that was like a cough or a sneeze. Analog stick. I'm sorry, that counts. I prefer mouse and keyboard. I'm not gonna do this with you. <laughs> we're, we're... Look, I mean, aim assist is just all. Okay. These are the nominees for best performance. <laughs> best performance. For me, it was strong female characters that I happen to know. Join us in battle. All right, Spartan. Do you see all those dots? I'll fight with you. I didn't choose to be better win. To like, you better win. Connor, Connor. come on, it's Connor. It's Connor has to win this. Come on. Do you have anything to say in your defense? To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. So I'm a man now, like you? We are not men. Spoilers for the game, man. We are more than that. You're Spider-Man. Look, next time, leave the fighting to the pros. It was a good Spider-Man. It was really, that was a good Spider-Man. Okay, but what if there aren't any around? But, <laughs> good one. I mean... This whole thing is pretty much That's, done. He's good too. He's good. Connor, I don't know. Ghosts and people. As long as we get paid Arthur or Morgan's you get great. shot, I'm happy. I would say Connor or okay. Arthur. And the Game Award goes to... Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption 2. Can I add a category? This is the part where words that make sense are supposed to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. I humbly accept this honor, especially in light of the amazing performances of my fellow nominees. Wow. To share this moment in time with all of you, a moment in time which is clearly becoming the advent of a golden age of this medium. I gotta thank my wife, Molly. I love you, Molly. And For five Ma. years, she watched me come home from long days of performance capture and re kindly reminded me to check Arthur at the door, put the kids to bed. <laughs> you didn't want Arthur. That reminds me, Colin Arthur. and Rory, go to bed. Uh, I would also like to thank Rockstar Games for the amazing opportunity. <laughs> the faith that they put in me. Thank you, thank you all. This is an amazing moment! It was very good. It was great. I feel bad for Connor, though, because Connor was very... It was, it was, that performance he was, was very real. He was the narrative director for one of the biggest games in Ubisoft history, Far Cry 5, and he's here right now to unveil the next chapter. Please welcome... Far Cry Sebastian 6. Sebastian DeCant. Here comes Far Cry number 6, guys. At some point, okay, like honestly, like if it's Far Cry 6. Hello, everyone. You at some point, As like, you may just remember, make Far Cry do 5 ended uh, with nukes put confetti. dropping on Montana. And this marked the very beginning of a brand new world. Because, yes, What's we're finally <laughs> bringing the post apocalypse to Far Cry. And as the creative director of this new project, it is my absolute pleasure to reveal to you Far Cry New Dawn. No, you just didn't number it. Whatever. Do we have to just make, like, make a, make like a fucking monster movie or something, you know what I mean? 
Make like a Return of the Monsters. Far Cry like seven, like, just make like a movie where you have a video game, you play as a character and you're a monster in a monster universe. Just kids when the bombs dropped and the world went to shit. They said it was supposed to be the end of everything. Just like put I want like Jason, Freddy Krueger, the mummy. It was just the beginning. All the same game and like if he plays, he plays a monster! Nah. We were better than that. This new world had a lot to give, and we took it all. That's how we came out on top. That's how we got here. That's how we found you. Listen here, rabbits. You need to understand something. The only currency left in this world is power. We're gonna take everything from you, starting with your home. I want to play as a chef. And if we can't take These it. These studios have millions of dollars. Don't make like another Far Cry. Make like a fucking chef game. You could be a chef we'll in an break. open world. Why the fuck hasn't somebody done that? That's a monster. They finally listened to me. I wanted a monster in the game. For like us three hours. Into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. That's so close. February 15th is when it comes out. What the fuck? Far Cry New Dawn. Now, tonight, you can also find special offers on all our nominated games across Xbox. Live in Nintendo eShop, Steam, and the PlayStation Store. So uh, make sure to check your favorite place to get games for some special offers on nominees and more. Right now, we've got another world premiere. Check this out. I'm looking forward to this. I love the world premieres. It makes you feel like just so bubbly inside. You know what I From the creators of Bastion and Transistor comes a new game. Where do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody gets out of my domain, whether alive or dead. You wish to learn the hard way. It's not gonna be a card game. Fine. Then go. Get out. Don't let me stop you. It's not gonna be a card game. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it, Father. Mobile. It's a mobile game. Zeus. Who do you play? You, uh, Socrates, right? Vada Puss, what's his name? Vada. What's, what's the guy's name? What's his name? Uh, Plato. I'm home. Well, time to go get killed again. Dude, it's like a Dark Souls, but it's like Bastion and Transistor in the same game. Death is your only family. Death and I. 
Hades. I would I would play it for a little bit. Sorry. It's oh, it's now available on early access in the Epic Games Store. From the Fortnite Game Store. Giant. That is an early access title. They're going to be updating over time, and it's available tonight, right now, on the Epic Games Store. So, congratulations, Greg Amir, and the entire team there at Super Giant. I am here now with my friend Patrice Desilets, the designer behind Assassin's Creed, famously, and uh, you're working on All a right. new project called Ancestors, a humankind odyssey. Patrice, thank tell us about God. This game. You're not making you're another right, Assassin's First, Creed. Uh, thank you for having me. Of it's course, quite an honor for I'm me to be here. here. Uh, thank you. This is so yes, I'm working have on monsters. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. It is a single-player, open-world, exploration, survival game. It is set in Africa, starting 10 million years ago, where basically players will play from the last common ancestors of all the big apes up to Lucy, the famous Australopithecus. Okay, that, that's a lot of game there. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, where you're at in this game and what we're going to see tonight, because you're going to show us some gameplay. Here comes some right? gameplay. Oh, totally, totally. Okay. So this game is, that, is done by Panache Digital Games, my new studio back in Montreal. 30 people. Hi, everyone. And tonight I'm going to show that was four awkward. clips of actual gameplay. That was really close. How long week. is an awkward okay. silence? This is and real. This Patrice is real. on the uh, sticks. Exactly, All right. exactly. And yes. if people like what they see, they can go on GameSpot and see another 20 minutes of me playing all the right. very beginning of the game Where is after it? the show. All Where's right, you're showing it silence. all. Here it is, Ancestors, a humankind odyssey. Thank you, Patrice. Where the Good fuck day. is awkward silence? Here it is. <laughs> Inspired by true events. This is 10 million years ago. Giant snake? What the fuck is happening? Now, there, there's a few ways, I mean, that's kind of like Spore, but it happened in real life, you know what I mean? The question I have to ask is, is do, do I get to, like, fly in spaceships eventually? You know what I mean? Alright, I'll be right back, I gotta pee. I need another one of these, too. I'll be right back. Play best on Xbox One. Thank you. 
Girls Make Games is a program that inspires girls to make games. It teaches them the tools that they need to get from start where they know nothing to get to a full developed prototype in three weeks. My favorite part about camp, doing the designing for the, how the platform is. My experience with GMG has given me the confidence to pursue other writing and video game projects. The whole mission is just amazing to really inspire young girls to learn to make games and really get the female perspective right, and voice in games. We're good. You didn't even see my. You didn't even comment on my glass. Why did you not even comment on that? All right. So, I, did anything happen while I was gone? I don't think I missed anything. We have so much more game awards to come right now. Here's another world premiere. This, this, this might be more than five, right? Is this more than five premieres? Because I gotta fill that in. This would be five. Okay, fill it in. Only possible with spatial OS. Is this a VR presentation? Well, no, somebody needs to get on stage and like put the headset on. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. I don't think anyone's gonna get on stage with a fucking headset on. Garfield? What? Is it Starfield? I don't think it's. Oh, Starfield! I don't think this is. This is not Starfield. Borderlands 3. Wait, didn't Gearbox shut down, didn't they, permanently? No, 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 no. Yeah, they did. They may as well have. I'm, it's a, I'm kidding, it's a joke. I'm kidding. I was just making a joke about video gaming. Uh, scavengers. That's your first look at scavengers, and I'm now here with Josh Holmes from Midwinter. Josh, uh, tell us a bit about uh, your studio. Yeah, well, so Midwinter's uh, a new studio up in Seattle, Washington. Um, we're a relatively small team. We're just over 20 people. Uh, many of us come from AAA background, working on titles like Halo and Battlefield. I don't want IPs. This is our new first IPs. game. I want sequels. Studio. Why do you want sequels? We got a tease of sort of the world there. Some of the characters. What kind of game is it? So Scavengers is a survival shooter coopetition. It's uh, it's a game where teams need to cooperate to survive but compete to win. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking all of the aspects of a, of a survival game and sort of condensing that into a replayable session-based multiplayer experience. Awesome. All right. And uh, if people want to learn more, it's a little tag there to sign up, right? Yeah, yeah. For us, it's, it's so important to have players have a voice in shaping the game. And, and so starting in 2019, we're going to be having play tests. And people can go right now, go to scavengersgame.com, sign up, and you'll be among the first to play Scavengers in 2019. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for putting that together. It's an amazing uh, world premiere. First look at uh, Scavengers, Josh. Uh, sign up for that That's now. Like the, I mean, All we right, had like three of those. It's now time to present our next award. It was just... Please welcome the front man from Panic at the Disco to do it, Brendan Yuri. Why? I love you. I don't know. Um, I, I just want to say what an it's honor really it is odd. to be here, first off. And secondly, uh, I have to apologize, because I was supposed to write something last night, but I stayed up till 5 a.m. playing season seven of Fortnite. So, 
I apologize. Fortnite reference. Um, oh, wait, never Fortnite mind. They wrote reference. it for me. Okay. Personally, oh, here comes as a, a fire musician, <laughs> I'm constantly amazed by the skills of the composers in this industry. They make tracks that elevate all the action and tension and set the perfect mood. Here are the nominees. What's this for? Best score, Best music. score or music. Presented by Spotify. <laughs> Has any disgruntled nominee tweeted after they lost? Somebody needs to find that out. I didn't play either one of these two games. That was pretty good. Spider-Man is pretty good. It's gonna be Red Dead. I don't know what this game is. Apparently it's, a, it's, it's got a good musical track score. Octopath Traveler. I can already tell. Like, uh, there it comes Red Dead. This will be three for Red Dead, right? We only need two more to get the extra bonus space. Okay. Three only two to. more for the extra bonus space. Red Dead Redemption 2. One, two, three, four. Get him up there. Come on, get ten up there. Damn it. Red, if this is gonna be just like when Return of the King came out. It won every single fucking award at the Academy Awards. It's gonna win like 12 different categories. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but thanks a lot. Um, thanks to my wife, Sharon Jackson. My two daughters, Georgia Washington Jackson and Theodora Roosevelt Jackson. <laughs> had to make sure I get that out. Um, I, they've Mom. been all the games, their heartbeats, since the past 10 years, so I really appreciate my family and use them appropriately. Um, <laughs> not a comedian, but I try to play one sometimes. Um, Rockstar? I thought everyone was a surrogate family. I severely underestimated so that. And this guy. Came in and, and did the most beautiful, sad music. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my brother. I can add my Is that a cry? Not quite. I don't think so. No, that wasn't that wasn't it. Thanks to Daniel and Woody. And speaking of score and soundtrack, I uh, wanted to let you know I've got a new podcast series with Spotify. Six episodes called Score Points, where I actually went behind the scenes and interviewed a lot of the composers nominated there, including uh, Woody about no, it's not a candy company. About God War, John it's about not a Spider soda or candy. About, uh, uh, Celeste, fuck so me. Whatever. Lauren about FIFA. So lots of great stuff. Uh, make sure to check that out tonight on Spotify. It's called Score Points. Uh, right now, I'd like to recognize some other winners tonight in other major categories. The best audio design presented by Dolby. And these are the nominees in that category. Get Call a car on Black there. Ops 4, Forza Horizon, Forza Horizon 4, God of War, car on Marvel's Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And the game award for best audio design goes to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's having a pretty good night. Uh, all right, for best art direction. Get the bonus square. The nominees Already. in this craft category are Assassin's Creed Odyssey. God of War, Octopath Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Return of the Obra Dinn. And the winner is Return of the Obra Dinn. Congratulations to Lucas Pope, who I know is here tonight. Next up, the category of Best Mobile Game. And those nominees are Donut County, Florence, Fortnite, if Fortnite had better PUBG not Mobile, win. And Reigns, Game of Thrones. There'll be booze if and Fortnite the game wins. And for best mobile game goes to well, here it comes. Florence. Oh, he said the, the he said the. All right, best he said the VR F. AR game. Those nominees are for Florence. Astrobot Rescue Mission, Beat Saber, Firewall Zero Hour. That's Boss, gonna be Beat Saber. Tetris Effect. Beat Saber, and right? Astrobot Rescue Mission is the winner for best VR AR game. Congratulations. Now on Twitch, everyone is voting right now to select who they think is going to win in major categories. Content Creator of the Year is coming up. Oh! And let's see what the Twitch poll is predicting. It looks like 
People are predicting that Ninja is going to win that one with 49% of win. the vote. We'll find out. Ninja's in the house along with many other content creators. All right, well, next up, Warframe. It's had its biggest year yet. It just launched Fortuna, the newest open world expansion on PC, and it's coming to Xbox and PS4 on December 10th. That's some breaking news. And for the first time ever, you can play Warframe anywhere on the Switch. Warframe did come out on the Switch. Warframe for Nintendo Switch. But it is a remake or a remaster, essentially, right? Or a re-release. Get some more votes first. I hit the wrong button. I gotta, I gotta get more votes for fucking best streamer on the platform. Two people voted right there. Somebody took it away and put it back on on Ninja. I see 10. I see 10 just jumped up. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Wow. Warframe is good on view. Yeah, but it's Warframe, but it's on Switch. Where do you vote? It, it, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I thought I knew why I came here. I saw What is it. this for? You set the apocalypse in motion. I want to. Let, 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 let's take a look at where we, how we stand here, though. All we really need. This is, here we go, guys. Bingo is upon us. You had the power. Somebody has to say revolutionary. Of Somebody has to get played off. Because they're on there too long. And somebody has to heckle somebody. Somebody has to heckle from the audience. That's Bingo coming up. Oh, we need somebody to fall down. Ten people to accept an award. And then there's going to be a pop figurine in the shot somewhere. That's a Fortnite dance, right? This what? What was that? Was that saw? What video game is this? Is it Freddy Krueger Jason and the Mummy in a video game? What was that? No, no. What was that one? What was that one that I wanted to see? Freddy Krueger! It's got them all! It's got everybody! What game is this? This Jason! Dow! Oh. Dead by daylight. Why was I describing? Whatever. I'm here with Matt Cote, who is the game director for Dead by Daylight. We just saw that. Matt, welcome to the Game Awards. Thank you very much. It's such an honor to be here. <laughs> Dead by Great Daylight. Lots of Canadian Montreal teams up here, which I'd love to see my home country, Canada. I hear you've got some uh, big plans for the game, right? It's true. I mean, we, we plan to keep this game alive for the at least the next Captain five Captain America years. video game? To show our dedication, essentially. Tonight, we're announcing the dedicated servers are coming to Dead by Daylight this summer. Okay, summer 2019. Yep. Uh, and I also want to show the trailer for the very first time for our new chapter coming to Dead by Daylight, Darkness Among Us. Okay, let's take a look at that. Another world premiere. Thanks so much, man. That's I appreciate more it. Than, uh, that's more than five. Who's the new character in Dead by Daylight, brothers? Who's the new confirmed character? What, what is what 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 that's not even a fucking horror movie character. Who is that? 
Is that like a from, from some one-off, one-off fucking movie? What one-off fucking horror movie is that from? Should have put the mummy in. I'm back here now with Casey Hudson, the general manager at Bioware, another Canadian company. It's the That's Canada right. section. That's right. Um, all right, well, you're almost done with Anthem, Casey. Uh, tell us where are you at? It's coming early next year, right? Yeah, it's coming out in February. And so we've got, uh, you know, Mark Dara and the team are doing an incredible job finishing it up. It's almost done. And uh, yeah, we're super happy to Anthem. be here and be able to show a little bit more of the game tonight. Yeah, so what are we going to see what tonight? What if you start crying? Well, so a lot of what we've shown so far is the gameplay. It's super fun. You're basically, you know, an armored superhero in a fantasy setting. And we've shown a lot of that, but we haven't really let people in on what the story is and the characters and things like that. But, you know, like a great Bioware game, we're building out a whole Where's world the Chick Hydra of bot? stories. But I want to know. <laughs> what the fuck is he? So we're going to start letting you in on a little bit more of that. Well, I know the, the entire team is working very hard on this, right? Yeah, I mean, we've got a big team working on it, but we've got a few projects at Bioware, so it's not the only thing that we're working on. And uh, so we do have a few surprises left. Okay, but Anthem always, right now. Anthem right now, and okay. uh, always thinking about our next thing. All right, I tried. All right, uh, here's a look at Anthem. Check it out. That was kind of awkward, but we already filled it in. All right, world premiere of Anthem. That's not a, that's not a world premiere, is it? I have seen the power of the Anthem. Why is Anthem just Destiny? Destroy is this just Destiny with Peter Dinklage in it? You Wait, Destiny no was Peter Dinklage. Did they make Destiny? I feel they made the Destiny, right? The did they? It's cool they did. The generations, our people struggle just to survive. Heading out. Let's go. So they did the Halo, Destiny, which is kind of just... Chaos. Put the fucking mummy in a game, guys. It's like Halo. Look, it's the flood. The walls. It's destiny. Our families. Where's the mummy? Loved ones. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. But the anthems. Nobody ever thanks their mummy, by the way. Which is bullshit. You understand? And walls. Oops. Can only do so much. Oh fuck, I ruined it. No, I didn't, I'm fine. But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering. Run! Yeah. Anthem. Play it at your funeral, that game's DOA. It's probably gonna be fun. You're not, you're not mic'd up. Nobody can hear you guys. Nothing. Oh, there's nothing here though. Trained animal used. Fire alarm. Fortnite dance. I already got Fortnite dance. Somebody in a costume. Guy sleeping in the audience. I get a chance here. Why do I even have a new Banjo Kazooie game on here? Is there more than two bald guys on stage? Oh, fuck me. Hold on a second here. Hold on. There are at least four guys that are bald on stage. One, two, three, four. Fill it in. So close to a bingo. What do you mean that doesn't count? Two or more bald guys. That's a, that's it. That doesn't matter about the book. They're on the stage. That counts. The Game Awards continues. Everybody is here tonight, including...
Crash Bandicoot. What's going on? Guys? CB in the house. What are you doing here? Not much, man. Just thought uh, you deserved a trophy of your own. Uh, thank what you very much, Crash. Uh, this is the standard issue Crash crate. Should I, should I, how do I open this thing? I think uh, maybe give it a good spin. Somebody in a fucking it. costume. Yeah, there it is. I got, I got a long show to host. I'm just going to open it very professionally here okay. on Game's that's, Biggest yeah, Night. That's good. That's good. Uh, this oh, might wow. happen. What's, what's this? This, this kind of looks familiar. Does it now? Booyah, Grandma. Booyah. Kingdom Hearts. Let's check out the world premiere. Kingdom Hearts. Two. Three. What? Check out the trailer for Crash Team Racing. Crash is back. That's not Banjo Kazooie. Shit, I mean, it could be. Hold on a second here, guys. They're the same color scheme. Crash Bandicoot is like a bear with orange fur. Right? Does that count? They're both bears, they're both orange. Just, Crash Bandicoot has like a Pinocchio nose. That's the only difference. That is the only difference. They have the same color shorts on. They have the same color shorts on. The only difference is the Pinocchio nose crash. Yeah, it's the same character. It just shorts on, he's a bear, he's fucking orange. I'm gonna count that one. I count they are that. two of the voices from God of War. Please welcome Sonny Soljic and Christopher Judge. Oh, okay, it's the voices. Games have always had a strong sense of community. Listen I remember when I was a kid. Booming voice. Younger. Uh, gathering around someone at the arcade who was close to breaking a high score. But I'm blown away by how much bigger that community is in today's connected age. Millions of people around the world aren't just playing games they love. They're watching their favorite online personality stream for hours at a time. These are the nominees for the Content Creator of the Year. Content Come on! Creator of the Year. That's not me! Oh my god! He's <laughs> jumping! <laughs> there we go! What the stream! Oh! Punch myself. It's something that I enjoy. Being able to bring joy to others, doing something that you enjoy is a miracle. There we go! You're talking about this I got one! Oh, okay! <laughs> no, no, no. Me! Whoa! And the game award goes to Heckler. That's a heckler. Read it, boy. <laughs> hey, what? What? Who is that? What's their Twitch name? The award goes to Ninja. I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, an incredible honor. Uh, I would first off just like to thank my lovely wife, Jessica, who's joining me today, um, and my family who's supported me my entire life. They've always let me play video games uh, as long as I was just a little bit more active outside. So, um, <laughs> but you know, this has just been an incredible year for gaming and video games. Uh, and I'm just honestly blessed to be in the position that I'm in, to have won this award and to bring joy to all the people who who love watching video games. So, I mean, I think it's crazy that every single person in this room and every single person watching, it's all because of video games. So, uh, 
I mean, here's to another incredible year, 2019. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, yeah, guys, From respect Obsidian, my fellow nominees. Please welcome the creator and game of designer of Fallout. Here are Tim Hayden <laughs> and Leonard Boyarski. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since we made Fallout and 13 years since we last worked together at Troika. Yeah, and it's great to be reunited on a new single-player RPG. We're very excited to reveal our brand new game <laughs> and our brand new universe, The Outer Worlds. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a second. Outer uh, you weren't supposed to say that, you remember? It. Yeah, um, what we're supposed to say is by watching this trailer, you are legally obligated to enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I just broke my neck! I just broke my neck! I think I just broke my neck. I just did it, that dog tilted so much that I think I just broke my neck. Ah, no, I'm all right. Wondering what's going on, eh? One question first. Are you feeling anything that can be construed as explosive cell death? No? Wonderful. Let's get started. Destiny 3! What is this? I wasn't paying any attention. Welcome I was too busy being... to the edge of the galaxy, the frontier of space. Well, at least it was until the corporations bought it, branded it, and started selling it at ludicrously Border inflated Lance prices. Bioshock Lands Three. And the rest of your fellow settlers abandoned on the edge of the colony. I'd save them myself, but the boards got Fallout. a bounty on my head. Survival wasteland so, game. That's why I thought you out. You appear capable. Look, I get it. Taking on the corporation has left us Taking with two on the choices: corporation. bad and worse. Oh, those fucking corporations! And you have to choose now. Let me tell you something about those fucking corporations. You know you didn't have to shoot either one, right? But it's fine, I guess. You just keep being you. Okay, okay, I'm stuck like this. Spacer's choice is not responsible for any feeling of vertigo, wonder, or hunger you may have experienced while watching this advertisement. They thought that was funny. They were laughing at me. So is that like going to be like right, good that's Fallout? That's from Obsidian. Thanks for that. And check out that's, this. That's probably going to be fucking really good. Because that's like Fallout, but it's supposed to be actually Fallout. That's, that's like a Fallout game by the guys that made the good Fallout, right? I'm excited. You see, my, I, I got fucking pog stuck. You know what I mean? It happens sometimes. You gotta be careful. Us, the League of Legends Riot Games developed Monster Hunter World that has an alpha, right? Yeah, it's that, it's that Riot Games presents Monster Hunter. Now it's not a MOBA. This is an actual, like, an action game. And they take the loot from his teeth. Right, I told you. Where's the German predicts a buck? I think of that without great. Now here from Dauntless is Mike Mike. Now here with Jesse Houston, the CEO of Phoenix Labs. A couple years ago, you were with us announcing this game, Jesse, and now you're back. 
We sure are, and it's been uh, quite a couple of years. Um, it was a heckler? And, you know, we're super excited to not only not talk about uh, the last couple of years, but also the future. And, you know, it's really awesome coming into the future and being able to see, in April rather, uh, and launch the game uh, on Xbox and PS4 and the Epic platform. Um, you know, from the get-go, Dauntless has always been about bringing players together uh, with their friends and killing big behemoths. And, uh, you know, those platforms are going to be kind of the next big journey for us. Yeah, and tonight you got something launching too, right? We sure do. So it's our biggest content expansion pack, Frostfall. Drops today uh, on PC at PlayDauntless.com. All right, well, check it out. Play I thought you couldn't even play this. Much, Thanks, Jesse. Jeff. Well, you can actually... All right, we'll be right back after this. Sorry. When I was growing up, I didn't see any women doing a lot of the good things in my life. But so you can you can there play that game right now. Expectation from girls, so even the girls' education is not like the like the top priority. I'm from I a thought you had to background. It was be difficult like invited to the alpha for me or something. to pursue this, to make money, to be able to afford the private school, so that I can go and study computer science. Getting education, it's not about just getting degree. It's actually getting exposure to the world. You can't be if you can't see. That's what we are trying to do, is give them an inspiration. Pixel Art Games Academy is a training academy Pixel for Art video games game development. Academy. Our main focus is actually empowering game developers and creative artists to be able to make their own game ideas. This is my biggest dream. I want people to see what kind of ideas, what kind of uh, creative people Five community have subs in Pakistan. From Kazi. Thank you. Welcome to the guy that lost up, top Joel streamer Mateo on stream. Thank you. Oh, player. I should have put and him on here. Performance of Devil Trigger. I was going to put and him on later, like Joel McHale an shows up. From Fortnite. This is the Game Awards. I mean, like, honestly, like, I don't know, but, uh, but was I shit-faced when I made this? No one's going to fucking fight on stage. Hold on, wait a minute, we got a Super Smash Brothers brawl. Because the game's about to be in stock, and it's almost time! Welcome to my store. It's one not bound by walls. No, this is... Everybody has seen this fucking commercial. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's seen that commercial. I don't put ads on my stream. Never. You'll never see an ad on my... I mean, I can't control pre-rolls because I can't turn them off, I don't think. But I, you'll never see an ad. Be play, I don't play ads on the stream. You haven't seen? Good. Oh, yeah. See, see that commercial? You haven't seen that commercial? That commercial was on TV like seven years ago. Seven months ago. Whatever. And this is an Artifact. No, it's not. Tonight, we've got some of the biggest franchises in the world unveiling their new games. We've also got some smaller studios sharing their projects. This is another one of those Boomer surprises. watches TV. Is there any... An ember drifts from the flame. Life is strange. Life is strange. Why are you telling me to skip this? I don't have control over this. Skip the game? When the I can't. And you don't know which way to go. Through the shadow lines. And this is the No Man's Sky development. As you will find made a puzzle game. Okay. I wonder if after this trailer they're gonna say this is the greatest video game to ever be made. They might. Mean streamer? No, I'm just kidding, it's a joke. 
It's a joke. She's bitter. That, was, that looks kind of good. Hold on, let me like backtrack a little. Oh, No Man's Sky was terrible. Uh, those developers were fucking, what the hell are they thinking? Oh, uh, this game looks kind of good. Here's actor and comedian Joe Elijah Wood. No. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Wow, I can't believe you had me back. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, asked to present the award for best esports player, I did not hesitate. Uh, video games have brought me and my sons closer together. Every morning, they fire up Shocker, Fortnite, and uh, their eyes light up with the promise of a new day, and they demand my credit card information. And so you, you give it to them, Joel. Skin, you give it to them, Joel. Wax. Wow. You forgot that part of the presentation. They were forcing me to buy a Rainbow Rider and Astro Backbling. Huh? They grow up so fast. Anyway. He cried. Okay. Uh, Esports continue to grow exponentially every year with sold out arena tournaments all over the world and millions of dollars on the line. This award recognizes the most dominant athlete in esports. Whomever wins this is basically the LeBron James of sitting. It's amazing. Here are the nominees Best Esports Player, presented by Omen by this. HP. I matter what fighting game he's playing this kid can do it can take it all sonic box the champ oh! fighting game fighting game he is your champion we won more One championship year right? for the best player in the world counter strike was too far back i don't, I don't know I don't that know. is stunning from simple Oh, Jordan, pretty good. He's looking dangerous. Oh. From downtown. No style for Zodak. Okay. There's a Rubik's the Cube guy. Award goes to Where's the Rubik's Sonic Cube guy? Fox, everybody. The guy that can like. You know what I mean? Who the fuck is that guy? Kind of costly. Well, we already have that selected. <laughs> In full furry costume. Uh, wow. <laughs> I really want this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, look, <Mom. laughs> uh, I guess I want to say this is a big honor. Uh, I kind of just. Really, really enjoy playing video games competitively. Um, mm -hmm. I've never really, really done it for the fame. I kind of just enjoy the rush of like beating people up, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, even like, uh, I'm sure you guys heard the story of uh, when I won the IPS finale. The other thing I don't do this for is for the money. It's because when uh, my best friend, one of my, my best friend, one of my closest friends, oh my god, I'm nervous. Uh, his dad had cancer and after I won, but before I even like uh, did the match, I told him whether I win or lose, I'm gonna be donating at least like 10k of the prize winning to his father for his stage three cancer. Pretty I fucking hope it awesome. Works out for him, um, and he really, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty nice fucking thing to do. That's <laughs> I'm just gonna say this is more scary than I want Evo, um, but I mean, I guess I, <laughs> I never really. I had always just done it just to make new friends and bonds in the community. So um, I guess for now, I want to give a shout out to obviously the team that's helped me do all the, all the way at Eagle Fox. I want to give a shout out to uh, um, all my friends back at home, my best friend, the Kill Sage. Uh, he's helped me out so much through life. Um, McKenna and Black, the, the goons back at home, gang, gang. Um, 
um, uh, as you guys also may know or may not know, um, I'm also super gay. So I mean, uh, I want to give a shout. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I want to give a super shout out to all my LGBTQ plus friends that have always helped me through life. Um, obviously, I'm a furry, so shout out to the furries, <laughs> the band, the furries in the Yeah. Um, guess all I gotta really say is that I'm gay, black, a furry, pretty much everything a Republican hates, and <laughs> the best esports player of the whole year, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you one thing, right? That's a, that was pretty smart to have that. If, you, if you're nervous to give a speech or talk on stage, is one thing that you need to remember is if, if you like can cover your face or like be cover your eyes, it's actually easier to do it like in a costume or in character. So I know that makes sense. It actually makes sense. Easier to talk publicly. Don't eat those pills, don't eat the pills, don't eat the pills, bird. Don't eat the pills, bird. Don't eat the pills, bird. Nobody's fallen down yet. How has nobody said the word revolutionary? Is that impossible? Dead bird, okay. Winter has arrived. The wind, the winds of winter. Oh, it's PUBG. That's not a world premiere. That's a PUBG video game. No revolutionary. No fist bump. No cutting edge. Nobody's visibly yeah, drunk. Fun. All right. I am here with Dave Kerr, the world art director at PUBG it. Corporation. Uh, Dave, why don't you tell us about the uh, the new map besides uh, the new train? People can get to play tonight. What else? All right. So it's uh, called except the for me. Kendi. It's our first six by six map, which is the sweet spot between oh. the chaos of Sanic and the tactics of Erangel. It's also a snow map, which means you leave footprints. Players can track you, you can track them. Hunter becomes the hunted. Wow. Uh, what about new gear this time around? Absolutely, we're gonna have the G36C assault rifle and a very fast, very new badass snowmobile to explore the map in. Oh. Okay, snowmobile, and we're gonna get to like all jump that mobile snowmobile tonight to play on, on the test servers after the show? Uh, yeah, it's the best news, it's ready tonight. Wow. PC test servers, and it's gonna be on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in January. All right, so jump on Steam tonight for that. Uh, and also the PS4 version hits tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow, December Any 7th, food PlayStation, references? we're super excited to join the PlayStation no community. No food references. All of our new PS4 players are going to receive an exclusive parachute. And finally, it's your last chance to pre-order, which will grant the Nathan Drake Desert outfit from the Uncharted series and Ellie's backpack from The Last of Us. Get it! All right, fantastic, Dave. Really appreciate it. PUBG, great to have you back with us again. All right. Now I'd like to introduce our next presenters. They're members of a Grammy award-winning band that I love personally from Weezer. Please welcome Brian Bell and Rivers Cuomo. So they have more celebrity things here. Should have had at least like four more. Just a warning, things are about to get heavy. Why do they look if like you creative plugs, character versions of themselves? Right now I'd like you to throw them away. Am I like out of my mind? Just toss them anywhere. Also, if you have any religious artifacts, put those away. Just tuck them under your seats because we're about to summon some dark spirits. Here's the composer of Devil May Cry 5, Casey Edwards, with vocals by Ali Edwards. We're going to get a full song here. Devil Trigger! Trigger! We're going to get a full song. Didn't put full performed song on here. Maybe, maybe somebody will drop the microphone. The darkness of night falls around my soul. If the hunter within loses control, gotta let it out, gotta let it out. Gotta let it out, gotta let it out. The demon inside has a hold of me, clutching its power, trying to break free. Gotta let it out, gotta let it out. Let it out, gotta let it out. 
the Academy Awards. There's, there's no best song, though, is there? Like, drop the microphone. Mike, get us a mic drop. Or in the middle of this is a Madden announcement. How am I sp you want me to stop? How about I mean stop? Okay, everybody, that's it. Game Awards are canceled. German 985 said to do something else. What do you want? Am I supposed to like snap my fingers and all of a sudden there's another thing on the screen? Tongue on there. Fire could have been on here. Comb your hair until it's over. I love that, like going all the way up and all the way down. Devil Trigger, and that's you wanted it. Over the last three years, nearly 20 million players. <laughs> oh, I just like boogered. And ridden dinosaurs in the epic you didn't, did you see? Hold world. on. Did, did, did boogers just come out of my nose? I think they did. Fuck. Whatever. It was trans. You didn't see anything. This is not the right fucking headphones. Sea of Thieves. It was a Wilhelm. <laughs> Could have put that on there. What is even on there? We need Revolutionary, somebody to get the music, and we need somebody to heckle the, the winner. We get Bingo. Or someone to fall down, 10 people accepting an award, and a pop figure. We're also pretty close to Miyamoto live via satellite. And somebody dropping the microphone. Just bingo. We would make some ground if Elijah Wood showed up. Um, there's definitely not going to be a trained animal used in any presentation. Here with Jeremy and Jesse from Wildcard Studios, guys. Uh, congratulations on the announcement tonight. Coming next week, what exactly is Atlas? Gino's well, Atlas not is going a to Smash. Massive open world survival MMO for 40,000 concurrent players in the same environment. It's a game about building an armada, claiming territory, forming an empire, Say it. and uh, ultimately dominating the entire globe. It's a same huge revolutionary. Scale. How, how big is the map? 
It's really big. The Atlas world is 1,200 times the size of a single Arc server. And our team has spent countless hours handcrafting a beautiful place to play in with biomes from uh, tropics to Say tundra, it. desert, polar regions. Say and we filled edge. it with amazing creatures. Everything from things you would expect, like livestock, to crazy mythological creatures that are guarding the secrets of an ancient civilization. There's so much fun stuff to see and do in Atlas, and it's just going to be awesome to mm. engage in. Amazing. Well, uh, coming to PC, any word coming to console yet? Amazing. Alice will be awesome. coming to console Crazy. next year to Xbox, the Xbox Game Preview Program. We got great feedback from the fans on ARC for uh, Game Preview, and we're excited to bring it first to Xbox next year. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I know lots of work ahead in the week uh, week ahead to launch it. We really appreciate it. Uh, we've also got uh, our Twitch poll continuing. Um, so the award for best independent game, people have been voting on that. That's coming up in the show. And right now, Twitch is Dead saying cells. that they think Dead Cells is going to take that with 39% uh, of the vote. Really so good. we'll find out if they're right when we come back. A little break. On the way, a world premiere you won't want to miss. Then Ninja and Pepe the King Prawn present the award for best independent game. And what? later, we celebrate the music of Red hey, Dead Redemption 2. Don't stop streaming. This Wait. is the Game Awards. Are they talk, uh, they're, they're talking about the Muppet? They're talking about, are they talking about the Muppet? Is that actually going to happen? Uh, that's the only thing I care about for the rest of the time we're, we're streaming. Too loud, blame them, not me. Does Pepe the King Prawn count as a trained animal? I think about it, that counts. That counts as a trained animal. That's a trained animal. Yeah. Get rid of the filament. He's technically a pro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my eyelid's stuck in my eye. All right, I'm good. <laughs> He's crying. No, I'm not crying. Oh, hello, neighbor. Remember that game that came out at like 0 .0 0.0.8 alpha? And they released it on every platform? Is that not that mean? Ooh, I, that, I actually, I'm actually into this game. I actually want to play this one. This one is actually on my top to-do list of 2020. This is Ashen, right? Yeah. That's top to-do list. What? It's available now? What's, what's available right now? Where? What? When? What? That game's out? It's not out? You gotta step it up, Terry Crews! Your suit game needs to be tight. Are we gonna get a crackdown? Me, uh... Come on, yeah. Tighter. <laughs> Really? Oh, my man. <laughs> Dress to kill. <laughs> Included day one with Xbox. Is this actually coming out?
Is there a reason for me to blow the dust off my fucking Xbox? Everyone gets behind each other. It's very touching to see. Should I take that out of my like storage unit that's down the fucking road? So in the television series that I'm currently working on, The Outpost, I play a knight captain. And in Elder Scrolls Online, I play a magic warden. I'm Rob Whitaker, UFC middleweight champion, and I play an Imperial tank in Elder Scrolls Online. I'm Chris Keeley, and I play a Red Guard Stamina Dragon Knight in Elder Scrolls Online, even though my brother has been far too busy to play with me recently. Okay, good. We're back. Wait, that was his actual brother? Welcome back to the Game Awards. We have so much more show coming for Wait, you. That was Lots Jeff's game, brother. Lots of awards. And right now, I'd like to announce some of the other award winners across some other categories. All right. uh, the nominees for our best debut indie game. This is recognizing a small studio making its first project. The nominees were Donut County, Florence, already Florence won. Moss, The Messenger, Yoku's Island Express, and the Game Award goes to The Messenger. Congratulations. Also a Canadian studio. There's something going on here. Uh, all right, next up, best fighting game. And those nominees this year are Blaze Blue, Dragon oh, Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, man. It's got to be that. Six, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. And the winner for best fighting game, where's, Dragon Ball where's Fighters. Tekken? Where's Tekken? Tekken, 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 Tekken there? For best family game, the nominees this year are Mario Tennis Aces, Nintendo Labo, Overcooked 2, Starlink Battle for Atlas. It better win. And Super Mario Party. Or I'm going to smash this into my mouth. And the Game Award. Goes to Overcooked 2. Oh no, I have to do it now. Another genre category for best strategy game. Those nominees The Banner Saga 3, oh. Battle Tech, Frostpunk, Into the Breach, and Valkyria Chronicles 4. And the winner for best strategy game, Into the Breach. Congratulations, Subset Games. All right, well, we've got a lot more show ahead for you tonight, and uh, we've got the big awards, we've got Best Game Direction, Game of the Year, and so much more, but right now, yeah. it's time to look Pepe at the, another Pepe the, game announcement world premiere. For a second, I thought I was gonna say Pepe the Frog. Oh, here is Ninja and Pepe the Frog doing an announcement. Pepe the King Prawn. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Just let me put the thing on Diablo 4. Just let me do it. You have questions. The Dread Wolf Rises. I don't know what that is. Diablo 4. He's a mega popular streamer, and he's a mega popular steamer. Here are Ninja Here and from the Muppets, Pepe the King Prawn. <laughs> it's a selfie! It's a selfie! Friend on the big win. Uh, thank you, thank it's you, incredible. thank you. Hey, uh, let me get a selfie. Come on. Okay. See? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> fill it yeah, in. Wait, that's a good shelfie, yeah, my fill friend. Fill it in. Did you, did you just say shel shelfie? See, si, see, si, it's a crustacean thing. Uh, that's oh, a selfie. Oh, no, no, no. And it's a trained a animal. One. We didn't get a good one. My eyes were closed. Say Manchego. Manchego? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Trained oh, animal I'm gonna and selfie. I'm going to get some V-Bucks for this, okay? <clears throat> that's, a, uh, that's a fork knife reference. Uh, uh, did you say fork knife? It's, uh, it's, it's actually pronounced Fortnite. No, I don't think so. Uh, no, no, but believe me, definitely. Yeah, I, 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 I know, it's, it's, Get it's Fortnite, out of here. right, guys? It's Fortnite. Don't, please. Yeah. Well, I Get hate to here. disagree with everyone, but you're wrong. Fortnite makes no sense. Uh, Fortnite is only two weeks, and I know I've spent a lot more time than two weeks playing this game. <laughs> Say sangria! Uh, sangria? Uh, all right, you know, uh, that's a good one. look, look, we're supposed to be presenting uh, the award for best independent game. Can we, can we do that, please? Sure, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take some selfies. Uh, okay, all right. This award is for the best game made outside of the triple A system. Oh, there's a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you say triple A? Yeah, Ooh, triple A. It's amazing what they do without batteries these days. <laughs> and here are the nominees. Oh, nominees. 
Best independent game. Best indie game, let's see what it is. Dead Cell, it's gonna be Dead Cells. Dead Cells is gonna win as many awards as Frank has won. Still need party chat actors. Need somebody to get the music too. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. They've been like on the ball this year. Drop it. All right, and the award goes to... Oh, he almost ninja, dropped Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Hold on, my friend. Let's get one more big selfie with the big crowd in the background, okay? okay. Everybody, get crazy, scream, selfie! Selfie! <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, my friend, continue, please. All right, and now the best independent game goes to... Drop the award. I have to do this alone. <gasps> it's hard. <laughs> the award goes to Celeste. Tonight, Celeste also wins the Games for Impact Award. <laughs> I, just, I was just hoping he was going to drop it. Because then we're going to... That's a mic drop, right? So, one, oh, two! <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Is it oh. ten people up there? Uh... There's a few team members who I don't, I don't know tonight, if that's 10. Uh, and I know they're watching. One, two, so, three, four, five, six, Gabby seven, and, eight. Uh, Sven and uh, the Power Up guys. Uh, we love you and we wish you were here. Eight. Um, it's not 10. And <laughs> uh, we're nothing without our support networks. So thanks to like our, two, three, four, our partners five, six, and our family eight. and our friends One, two, for amazing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure my One, parents two, three, four, five. I can't count them. For, like, I can't count votes, these. So. People on the stage? <laughs> Hi, is Mom and Dad, I love you. Or is it nine? Uh, so, thank, thank uh, you for thanking uh, We We got Mom like, completely lost in the work of making this game, and uh, <laughs> we kind of forgot that people would eventually play it, so the reception has just been like, what, what about really overwhelming. Ninja's on stage. Um, and, and Jeff, man, my heart right? Is so fast. That's 10. <laughs> I'm like at a loss for things to say all year about the reception. Uh, so there is one thing I want to say, though. Um, if Celeste has helped you come to terms with uh, mental illness. I just want to say that uh, <laughs> you deserve credit for that. Uh, that change came from inside of you, and uh, you're capable of a lot more. Thank you. Well said. Well said. No, I don't. Th that the, the, the prawn doesn't count as a person, so that they can't. That would that. That's gotta be. That's nine. So didn't happen. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that that that's. There was eight people on stage. Plus ninja is nine. But the king prawn. That's. I mean, maybe the, the guy. Actually, the guy that's that's uh, got the hand up the prawn's ass, right? The, the guy, the puppeteer, right? Is that that's ten? But that's not ten people that accepted the award. No, that doesn't count. Eight people accepted that award, not ten. What platform would the pathless on iPad, iOS, and iPhone? No, Epic Store, they are really things are gonna get real interesting right, in the next couple of years. To come. We got a muffin for on real. the show finally, so I'm very personally happy. Pepe, thank you for joining us. All right, Shit's tonight gonna you get can really find special offers on all the nominated games across Xbox.
Nintendo eShop, Steam, and PlayStation Store, so make sure to check out those offers tonight uh, and over the next few days. Of course, uh, we are trending number one worldwide people are, like, on Twitter. Like, gonna be I want to thank everyone for talking about the show. releasing games exclusively on see some of these amazing tweets. At Twitter, what, about all things many more surprises right having so much now. fun. Why did I lose? Where's, where's like the right. I lost uh, There's tweet, another game right? launching tonight. It's Human Head's new game, Survived By. It's launching right now on Steam. You can play now in early access, and it's published that, that's by not a Digital Extremes, dominating. developers of Warframe. Here's a first look at Survive By. If by interesting you mean annoying. <laughs> I mean, people are using it though. That's the crazy part. It's like, it's getting exclusivity. Something dark has emerged from the depths It's gonna of get the really Earth. weird here in the next Changing couple of years. even the cute and cuddly into the damned and deadly. It is up to you to build your arsenal. And set forth. On an epic journey. This is like a, is this like a Maple Story remake? What is this? It is now up to you, and probably many more of your descendants, to set forth on an epic journey to defeat this spreading plague that sours our land. I want to play this game. Team up with friends and tackle menacing foes. Or go it alone. Damn. Well, you can try. It's totally up to you. Join a massive online adventure to help rid the lands of this mysterious and nearly unstoppable force. Nearly this unstoppable. realm of the Mad God HD. There it is. Play for free and be among the first to help build the heartlands into something your ancestors would be proud of. Survive by. Find it on Steam, Early Access. It's Early Access, oh. What's up everybody, it's me, Melanie Mack here, and on most days you can catch me streaming some games, but today I wanted to hop in at the Game Awards to talk about vaping and the simple fact that if you vape, you are four times more likely to smoke cigarettes. Now, everybody knows that smoking cigarettes is extremely bad for you, but how vaping can lead to smoking cigarettes may not be as obvious. The Wait, amount what? of nicotine in just one jewel pod is the same as well, is this 20 anti -vaping cigarettes. Ad? To learn more, go to thetruth.com to join the cause to finish smoking That many people and enjoy the rest is of the vaping? Game Awards. Is vaping like a fucking <laughs> epidemic right now? Magic champion! Oh, we gotta talk about vaping. We'll know. People are just going like this, you know what I mean? They're just like... The stage and the lights, you won't have to tell anyone because they will already know. When you walk into a room... Why, 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 why is everybody the vape? Why do you gotta go like that? You know what I mean? You go like that? What, what's with the side, like, weird mouth thing? I don't get it. And your mom will tell other moms. Like, your little sister will know. There's my aunt. There's my anti vaping ad. Your dog will know. Even me, Mixelot, I'll know. Fake vapor. This game store owner will know. And so will these guys. And so will she. And the actual creator of Magic will also know. Because when you're What's the going world's on? number one Magic player, the world will number know. Number one Magic player. I just wanted to just do like a fat cloud at the end of that commercial, you know what I mean? All right, I'm here with Elaine Chase, the Vice President of Esports for Magic the Gathering. Elaine, uh, some fun cameos in that piece. Uh, what will the world know? Tell us. So, Jeff, I am so excited to be here tonight to announce Magic the Gathering's new esports and competitive gaming program. In 2019, we have $10 million in prize money on the line across digital and tabletop magic. Wow, all right, that's that's a lot of money, Wait, table, a big, big prize. Uh, when is it gonna uh, start? I wasn't paying attention. It all kicks off said? in March at PAX East in Boston, where we're hosting a $1 million Mythic Invitational on MTG Arena. Okay, that's that's a lot of money. Uh, how do people get on board if they wanna <laughs> jump in here? It's three oh, that's waiting, easy. Just download and start playing MTG Arena. Um, I've got happen. something special for the audience tonight. We like special things. What do you have? She's gonna unpack a, if you a use magic the code lotus Game card! Awards, you'll receive an eSports starter kit with some awesome cards to play. 
Awesome. Get All there right. quick. Well, Elaine, thank you so much. It's great to have you part of the Game Awards. Have a great evening. Thank uh, you. We have a lot more show to come up uh, tonight. A winner tonight for a bunch of awards. Red Dead Redemption 2 created a new standard among the uh, beautiful landscapes and meticulous detail to its world. There is also a brilliant score that transported us straight to America in 1899. Here tonight, as a little surprise, to perform did you, did a revolutionary music Red Dead Redemption. Who said it? Did somebody pair say it? Of Grammy Award winners. Did somebody Daniel say Lewa it? with his band and fellow Grammy Award winning vocalist Rhiannon Giddens. Did he say Enjoy. Red Dead Revolutionary? A new standard. A new standard. That's it. Your day is done. The time. You know the musical act? You battled hard, the wars won. You did your worst. You Nobody's tried made a food best. reference. Now it's time. No peripherals, no mobile game yet, which is really surprising. Now it's time to rest. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm, I'm remembering from a couple hours ago. What the hell was that? Like, let's get all the heads of all the companies on stage thing. That was really weird. It was like you got three villains on stage and they were all supposed to appear together and the, like the good guys are all backstage. You know what I mean? Just like, make, get out there and like make a presentation. It's like, was, what the hell was that? They like didn't belong on stage. It was weird. Nobody be quiet for this? Wrong head. Turn my back to the camera as I'm, as I'm watching it. There's a fucking wall over here. talking about stand on shake 
and he's got lice. Will you pay attention to the Game Awards, please? It's only happens once a year. Now go win another five awards, guys. Wow. Brianna and Daniel, thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we want to thank the band for that amazing performance. It's always a thrill for me to bring the music from games to life on our stage, and I think we did it better than we've ever done it before. So uh, thank you so much, Pretty guys, good. for doing Pretty that. Good job. Uh, right now, let's take a trip back to Hawkins, Indiana. We got to do this? Let's what? engage. This, this is a TV show? Uh, it doesn't count as actors because they're not pretending to be in a game with each other. You should go. It's almost here. Avoid! Avoid! Please right, welcome the creators of the Netflix streaming phenomenon, Stranger Things, Matt and Ross Duffer. Oh, I thought it was Elijah Wood. I thought we got Elijah Wood. Thank you, guys. No, uh, that's not Elijah Wood. It is very cool to be here. Uh, we were, what, six years old when we received this brand new system called Nintendo for Christmas, and we've been gaming ever since. They both could be Elijah uh, Wood, I think this has been a particularly All right. incredible year is that close for enough? games, which is kind of unfortunate for Netflix, because playing your games has probably delayed a release by at least, a, what, a month at least, for sure. But, I mean, Red Dead, God of War, Astro Bot, I mean, come on, it's incredible. Anyway, we're, we're no, glad I we could be I here tonight count. to He's announce show a new Stranger Things video game from Netflix and Bonus XP. He's going to show up. It follows the events of Season 3 with a few surprises of its own, and you can play co-op on Xbox, Switch, and PC. And we've also made a big graphical leap this year. We're up to 16 bits, so watch out, Rockstar. All right, let's take a look. 16 bits. What, is, I don't, what does that mean? It's, it's a Stranger Things Super Nintendo D make. I've never seen this show, so I don't understand any of this. I've never, even, I've never, I've never consumed one solitary second of this television show. I know that they play Dungeons and Dragons in the first ten minutes, and the show is about Dungeons and Dragons, and like the D and D campaign, like turns real, right? They like it. It's like the that remember that old horror movie where the guy wrote on the typewriter, and everything he wrote on the typewriter became real. It's like a whole horror movie. It's like that, but their D and D campaign becomes real. Like I don't know, whatever. What? Oh, this is the, they're doing like a meta thing. Do I have that on here? <laughs> I'm not talking about Murder, She Wrote. He's the creative director at NetherRealm Studios and the co-creator of Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Oh, yeah. Here's Ed Boon. There he is. What do you got for us, Ed? Thank you. It's great to be back here at the Game Awards. It's my Heckler. honor tonight to present the award for Best Sports or Racing Game 
Let's check out the nominees. Best sports racing game. It's not Elijah Wood. Stop it. That's Ed. I almost said Ed Wood. But that was an old shitty movie director. Why is this one so elaborate? Why would you... What's with the electricity? This is like, what, yeah, the ge indie game couldn't have gotten this? Oh, this is, it's a joke. Because this is Mortal Kombat 12. Okay. That's pretty good. It's too bad it wasn't Madden. Brand new Matt, 90 with the drum attack. You a shit taco, we got done for that. Trying to fix fight, boy, you done for that. Stupid. You gonna get a bullet in your lung for that. I thought, okay, I thought I was playing my mood sign. F and me and me in a mood sign. Glock 19 in the blue flying. I was strapped when I stood inside your boot time. 21 immortal. We'll never die. Loyal to my good though. I mean, like Mortal Kombat. The last few Mortal Kombat is crazy. And I'm flash. And I love winning. I'm upset if it's a tie. If you ever try to go against the game, we're going to drop it. Yeah. That sounded really unenthusiastic, but I actually think this is cool. It's hard. I'm. Holy shit! Mortal Kombat Battle Royale. Get you off the ground, just Victory like Royale for Raiden. Let's go blow for blow. Yeah. Let's go toe to toe. When it's time to battle, they don't never ever show. When it's time to battle, I'm the first Who one is at, it? The door, at the <laughs> door. Here we go. What? Oh my god! It's gonna be next. Mortal Kombat 11. April 23rd? Community reveal event, January 17th. Okay. There's children in the audience. So, sorry. Actually, sorry about that. I think they played the wrong video. Um, actually, here are the, the real nominees. Wait, it's, best uh, wait they're really doing game. one? They're actually doing Best this. Sports racing game. How do you have a best sports racing game category when they all come out every year anyway? You know what I mean, like FIFA 19, like NBA 2K 19. This, this same game came out last year. Wait, this is a, this is a, another soccer game? Are there two soccer games on there? And the game award goes to. Forza Horizon 4. I voted for Mario Tennis. No, I didn't. I got a FIFA best sports game of the year. Just like the last 30 wow, years in a row, we've made one of these. For Ed. What, a vi what a visionary and legend. So there has been so many people working on the Forza franchise. It's a huge honor to accept this on their behalf. <laughs> Using tilt control. Forza Horizon 4 is now our oh. best-selling oh, Horizon game. Millions Fuck, of people have so played audible. it, uh, both by buying the game and playing it in Game Pass. And uh, it's just been an incredible honor to watch. The team is working really hard, as you saw. We have a whole new update. No, with Fortune Island wrong. coming on December 13th, and we're just getting started. So thank you. No, that guy wasn't drunk. That guy wasn't drunk. I want to tell you about a boy. Ooh, is it me? Please save your questions to the end, Rasputin. Okay. He was Psychonauts a too. talented acrobat, but also a gifted psychic 
Don't forget my canoeing badge. It was a big pain in the neck. Didn't they kickstart this game for like four hundred million dollars? Let him into the sack or not? Uh, that was you, Agent Crawler. This ten-year-old circus runaway was somehow allowed to join an international group of psychic super spies, and now he's headed to our main headquarters, right into the Mother Lobe. Is this a remake Man, or a sequel? You guys really like puns, but he better wise up. This is no summer camp. The Mother Lobe has its own way of doing things. Sequel. Its own okay. way of protecting itself from outsiders. It's fair share of dangerous, hidden secrets. If they ever got out, things would never be the same again for the Psychonauts. For your friends. For your family. For you. Listen, Rasputin. There are vaults that should never be opened. Not all minds are safe to... Censor that guy smoking? I can't. Some brains are better off... Uh, broken. Don't worry. I won't do anything crazy. Was the original game any good? Well, whatever I you do, just leave I me out of it. Ooh, is that honey pepper ball bacon? I always thought Psychonauts was like a brain training game. You know, where you like at the stylus and you'd like you do like math problems every day. Apparently not. Psychonauts 2 first announcer a couple years ago. Tim Schaefer, thinking of you. Great to, uh, we'll see you next year, I hope. Tim Schaefer! Uh, oh, no, Phil that's Spencer, not Tim Schaefer. Head of Xbox. We saw you at the, uh, the top of the show. That's Phil. With your new buddies, Reggie and, or your longtime buddies, Reggie and Phil, right? Yeah, no, really. Uh, Sean. You deserve credit for putting that moment together with Thank Reggie, you. Sean, and I. You pushed to make that happen. I think it's great to show the industry together. Why is that such together. a big deal? And Jeff did that. So I don't know. Why is that a big deal? Thank you, Phil. Yeah, we all stood in a row for so 30 seconds. Yeah, it was really ridiculous. Right. I've celebrate. never been in the same so room before as Reggie in my Xbox, life. It's been a big year for Xbox. Just How? Had XO You've like not allowed to be in the same room? City. Uh, how's 18 been going for you guys? Yeah, we had a pretty good year. We can do better. We had a pretty good year. Okay. Added some studios, shipped some good games, Sea of Thieves shipped, State of Decay, Forza Horizon. It was great to see Forza Horizon 4 win an award. Uh, shipped the adaptive controller this last year, something I'm very proud of. Yep. No, it's, as you said, been a good year, and news coming about Xbox. We saw the guys from Studio Wildcard up here. Atlas coming uh, next year to Game Preview, right? Yeah, I mean, we have a long relationship with Studio Wildcard. They were one of our earlier Game Preview uh, teams. Game Preview really helps developers, always trying to build programs to help developers. Our ID at Xbox program, Game Pass, I mean, all these things just probably. to help developers reach as many gamers as possible. Well, uh, speaking Horizon. of uh, Game Pass, uh, let's talk Farts about that. Horizon. What can you tell us about uh, Game Pass? Seems like everything is coming to Game Pass now, right? Yeah, we had uh, Mutant Year Phil Zero. Phil Spencer is not that game this drunk. week. Launch, launched in a Game Phil Pass. Spencer's not we drunk. have Ashen launching You're not going right to get that one. It's yeah. very Pass, obvious. It's incredible. Yeah. So people are going to go play that Below game. Next week, Below I think. next Cappy. week. Kingdoms Two Crowns next week. All yeah. of those in Game Pass. All part of Winter of Arcade. <laughs> we mentioned we're bringing Winter of Arcade yeah. back. It's great to have all those games coming and launching both for sale and in a Game Pass. Get as many players as we can. I love you guys supporting the smaller studios. Same thing with me here at the awards. We want the big games and the small games, and that's what makes this industry so vibrant. See, I think. Dead Cells up. Oh, Dead yeah, Cells, yeah. such a good game. I Literally. know. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to those guys winning their award. Uh, 2019, obviously, lots of big stuff coming from you guys. Uh, what can you tell us about 2019? Yeah, we got Crackdown 3. We're going to be launching that. Uh, we've got Gears 5, which would just be incredible. <laughs> One of my favorite franchises what has else? come out this generation for Anything us, Ori. Else, Seeing the next Ori come out. You know, it's uh, going to be back here the at E3. It should be incredible right here in this theater. I mean, it's going to be uh, 29. This year was, was an awesome mic. year for gamers, and I look at next year. Those I think things are so slippery. Up to be Have you ever held a mic before in your life? It's All right, like, and also, you can't uh, we fucking talk hold on to them. Devil They're like cry. covering we oil. The performance of Devil How are they holding on to these? announced that here in this theater at E3, right? We did. I mean, the support we've had from Capcom's awesome, and just seeing the game. And people don't know Devil May Cry. It's going to be launching their beta tomorrow on Xbox, so people can go out and play. A demo of Devil May Cry Yeah, 5, demo right? of Devil May Cry on yeah. Xbox tomorrow, uh, so people can go give that a try and just see that crazy engine with that game. It's going to be great. All right, and that's coming uh, first to Xbox, right? The demo? First on Xbox, that's All right. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, Devil May Cry 5. Phil, great to have you here at the Missed Game Awards. We hope to have you here every miss year, uh, along with everyone <laughs> in the industry. And uh, right now, let's take Hand a out, look miss it. at some brand new stuff from Devil May Cry. It has begun. No, nobody's cried. I will 
Well, you guys have seen this trailer already, haven't you? You need to stay to the board. You know what I mean? You haven't seen this. What evil lurks? I think we need to stay to the board. Destroy. All right, time to kick some ass. V, why don't you tell me everything about this job? A powerful demon is about to resurrect, and we need your help, Dante. Alright, stay to the board. What do you say? Unless something else happens here. Games play best on Xbox One. Alright, we need we need a Miyamoto appearance. We need somebody to fall down. We need a winner to get played off by we need party. Yeah, being chat a actors. refugee come it's it's not easy. You know, what is Nick? What what are you going to leave tomorrow? Are you not going to leave tomorrow? I missed self. One day I asked my mom to oh, buy right, me a right. computer. She saved that money Where's for almost that? three years. It was no like that moment that just turned boom? everything. Like everything no is possible for, for at me. least ten seconds. Seventy-three percent of the population problem. in South Sudan is under the age of thirty. They are born in war. They were raised up in war. So their mindset and attitude is all about war. I decided to teach myself programming so that I can make game for peace. I made a game called Salam. Salam is an Arabic word that means peace. So what you do as a player, you have to stop the bomb from destroying the communities. And, you know, people start playing the game and the refugee come and bringing the people together. And I have the passion and the capability to change the world and make a difference. Coming up, worlds will change in Fortnite. And we present the award for best game direction. We're getting close. And later, directing duo the Russo Brothers assemble on stage and more music from the game. Well, the Russo Orchestra. Brothers, that's the, that's the Matrix guys. The game guys. awards will be right back. Right, the 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 the, the Russo. Who made the Matrix? Is that like the Matrix version of the Russo? The Russo is like the, the, the Matrix version of the game. I'm so sorry, that was loud. Hey, we played that last night. It was a game. I will give them this, though. Because this used to be on TV, right? The Game Awards World was on Spike TV, right? They have, they've, they've snuck in a lot of ads here. Oh, I thought that was for a movie. No, it's... In the beginning, From loud to louder. Nothing. And then, there was light. Not actual gameplay. I don't understand. Oh, it's a, pl it's a PlayStation. Oh, th th this thing sucks, right? I've heard nothing but negative She's responses to PlayStation Classics. And a member of the Game Awards Orchestra tonight. Can't you just we press escape Lena with Ray. a keyboard plugged in and get to like the debug menu? As demonstrated tonight, games require hundreds of elements from music and art to acting, writing, programming, and design. Great direction is evident when the work of hundreds somehow combines into a unified creative vision. Here are the best nominees director. for best game direction. It's gonna be Miyamoto best with Mario Odyssey direction. and he's gonna show up live via satellite. I didn't choose to try to come here. Connor was the reason why that game was pretty good. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. Spider-Man 
I don't know. Look, next time Spider-Man was really good. What was it? I, I didn't play God of War. I didn't play God of War yet. We don't want to kill any of you. But we will. And the game award goes to. God of War. Whoa! God of War. All right. Wow. All right. I'm ready. I, I, oh, son of a bitch. I'm ready. I said I'm not gonna cry tonight. All right. Um. I told you. First, I'm I want to thank Sony for the support and faith you foolishly placed in me and our great team over at Santa Monica. To my amazing wife. Son of a bitch. Uh, Foolishly placed it. That, what a fucking fantastic son, video game know, director. What are you talking about? Throughout all of this, uh, to the unbelievable team that I have been blessed with at Santa Monica, every human being who put so much of themselves. <laughs> Please wrap it up. Uh, uh, into this game, I am forever thankful for all of you and all the work, for the cast that we were blessed with. You guys are amazing. You brought it every single day and elevated the work that we wrote on the page beyond what we could have ever imagined. So thank you to David Jaffe, who created all this. I wouldn't even be here if he hadn't done that. 2018 has been an absolutely bananas year for games. We are all lucky that every creator out there, every creator in this audience, every creator out there in the world is absolutely crushing it, motivating me and everybody else to work even harder, but it wouldn't even be worth it or even... He said uh, We wouldn't be driven without all of the fans out there, without all the people who love games, <laughs> all games, all throughout the industry, we have an amazing community and there is so much more that unites us than divides us. So thank you, everybody. It's a, it's a great, it, like, that's a great game, you know what I mean? But like... Christmas time. Hey, Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas game? I don't think. Dreams? Is this the, is this Dreams? Oh, it's fucking Fortnite. I thought it was gonna be Dreams. Hey, look, the Christmas update for Fortnite. Season seven, and I was gonna put it on there, and I didn't. Fortnite Season 7 launched this morning. He's had a busy day, but here he is on the Game Award stage yet again, Donald Mustard. Donald, uh, welcome to the show, and congratulations on such an insane year. Oh, thank you. It's been an insane, crazy year, and uh, we're just humbled and grateful for all the players everywhere for playing Fortnite and for helping us this? build the game with them. Well, you guys, I know I it's, know it's an ongoing that. game as you guys are a nominee tonight. So, season seven uh, started uh, this morning. What can you I forgot to mention season seven. So, season seven. Nobody gives a shit about this on this channel. I can guarantee it. Uh, if if we get bingo, I'm going to gift community sub a hundred subs. Right? Yes. Uh, Fortnite creative. 
uh, is launching on December 13th, so next week. Uh, Fortnite Creative is uh, a mode, a brand new mode, where everyone will be given their own private island, where you can design your own games and build whatever you want. <laughs> I'm going to give myself. Now, this is a, I'm just going to delete a money. Labor of love for us. We uh, are all passionate game designers, and we think everyone is a game designer. And our goal is to let you build your own. <laughs> Holy shit! He's giving money to himself. Now it's except early. he's just it's, deleting it's some of it. Uh -huh. It's early, early. Um, early access is actually available right now. So if you want to get into it right this second, go pick up a battle pass, and you can. How do you give a in right now so. in this early access week? Okay. Um, but I hear there's there's maybe something a little more. There is. So I don't know how. Just in the few hours that it's been out, yeah. we've seen just already millions of people building crazy, crazy stuff. And we suspected that might happen. Yes. And the map is kind of crowded and on the island. And we figured we needed to clear out a little space. Where is it? Uh, to make room for some stuff. So okay. let's, Sh let's watch this. Should we head over to the game now? See what's happening in the Fortnite world. That's right. Check this out. Should I just like, should I turn this off? I, I can't just turn it off. There, just watch this awesome Fortnite Season 7 uh, gameplay. Hey, maybe they'll do like a big purple cube again that electrocutes you. I, I, I can't, I can't talk shit about Fortnite because like, the game, right, like so what you just saw half of Earth the loves this game. Of the block. I would just be solidifying my own a destruction. New space where we will be featuring the best and the coolest content created by you. And we will be bringing it into the Battle Royale map right on the island. We'll place it there for everyone to wow. see. Okay. How are you going to pick? We're going to all pick it together. Okay. And so there's going to be new stuff coming there all the time, and we think this is going to be an incredible way for us to all continue to build this game together. All right. So the block, if I, if I load a Fortnite right now, I'm, I'd see the block. Yeah, the Risky, risky Reels is gone. gone. Goodbye, uh, Risky Reels. The block is there, but don't, you know, don't, I, I'm a big movie fan. There, okay. We will find a way to get, you Movies know, back in there? We'll, We'll work on it. All right. Well, the block, uh, creative mode. Uh, Donald, All right. Thanks so much for stopping by the Game Awards. Uh, we can't wait to see where you take Fortnite in the future. All right. So we've got much more Game Awards ahead. Right now, we've got a brand new look at Rage 2. Check out this. Oh, Rage 2. All right. I'm on. Rage 2 looked uh, kind of interesting. Did it? Oh, shit. Took his whole head off. Bingo. like schedule a time or something or like give them out it just gives them out it just does it immediately I thought you had to like buy them and then you could I've never done that before $100 joke. Up next, the Russo <laughs> brothers present best ongoing game. And then, the Game Awards Orchestra celebrates the nominees for Game of the Year. Who will win? 
Will it be Red Dead Redemption? I'm not gonna get fucking God bingo, War, guys. No one's gonna fight on stage. Take home the crown. It's all coming up. All right, to be, all right, let me be completely honest here. Um, I, it's it was the, you check out and it's like complete the purchase of the subs. I did I. Whatever. Don't vape, guys. Critics agree that Final Fantasy XIV Online rises above expectations. A world that grows beyond imagination. <laughs> With awe-inspiring lands to see. I can't skip this shit. No, I, well I call this shit. That's not a, I shouldn't have said to revisit. Hey, well, congratulations to those that got their Final community Fantasy subs. I just deleted money because I just paid myself life. money. And, like, Twitch takes a cut of, like, you know, so Begin I just, I just took money, Live gave you guys story. subs, and then just gave Find it to myself. Your way. Final Fantasy XIV Online. Play for free now. Money laundering. Money laundering uh, implies that you make it money from the transaction. I'm the Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate! Coming soon. Very, very soon. That, the that launches in like 40 minutes. Is about to begin, and the winner is I'm cleaning everyone. my money. Less than an hour. Hey, thanks for the sub. I, who's gonna win game of the year? That's what I want to know. We got, we, I don't know how close we are. It's it's gonna be Red Dead, I would assume, right? No one has said the word revolutionary. Stay alive and be the one. PUBG Mobile, play free now. That was a lot of ads. In PUBG Mobile, there can only be one winner. That's kind PUBG of hard Mobile. when you're facing over game. a million people every day. If you think you have what it takes, download the game right now. It's free. The only thing you have to lose is bragging rights. Uh, the game where you fought bots and lost. Game where I fought bots and won. But they weren't bots. I was already level like 15, so the bots were, they delete bots from the game after you get to like level 10 on, on the internet there. So I'm sorry, but what you're saying is inaccurate. PUBG Mobile, play free now. They're really pushing PUBG, huh? Please welcome That's like the directing PUBG duo ad behind number Avengers 12. Infinity War, Joe and Anthony Russo. My brother and I are thrilled to be here tonight to hand out the award for sleeping? the best ongoing game. Somebody was sleeping? This award is for those games that continue to get better and better after their How initial do I rewind? release. Uh, with new adventures and experiences for their fans. I didn't see anybody sleeping. Uh, originally, there were 10 nominees in this category, but then they asked us to present the award, and now... That's a huge spoiler I didn't make. Five. Sorry. Okay, he just Best did that. I didn't. Ongoing game. Everybody, it's gonna be Fortnite. It's not Destiny 2. It's gonna be Fortnite. Watch. Yeah. So it. 
Check out the middle here. That's fine. That counts. Why the fuck is this on here? Did they have to fill out slots or something? I don't understand. Why is No Man's Sky on here? The rest of these make sense. Best ongoing game. And the game award goes to... Why wouldn't you put, like, Warframe there instead of... Fortnite. No Man's Sky. Fortnite also wins for best multiplayer game. Best multiplayer game, Fortnite. Best ongoing game, Fortnite. The Russo brothers. Like, we, we love you so much, all of us, right? Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for, for us. Um, so I represent just the teeniest portion of the team that just works so hard every day to make the game that is Fortnite. Uh, there's just so many people pouring their souls, their talent, their time into trying every day to bring what, why are you guys all doing the people playing right that game uh, joy and delight. What's, what's the mustard that's it. for? That's all, that's our mission, is how can we just bring joy and delight to people? And, and we're just so grateful, we're so grateful for all the people who have uh, <laughs> that guy's who not come sleeping. On this journey with us, who've played Fortnite, who continue to play it every day, and, and with us help make the game better. Uh, we're, this is a uh -oh. been an extremely humbling year for us at Epic, um, as we have really learned and tried to just uh, do something that felt. <laughs> Why are you guys doing mustard? Wonderful to us, and we're just, just so let the guy give his speech about that Fortnite. There's so many of you that. Uh, that agree with us and that are playing the game with us. So I imagine that almost everyone here, the reason why you it's are in the game name. industry or why you make games or love games is because it feels like a new medium. And it really is. Games aren't that old. Fortnite and mustard. I think that's what's so exciting for me every day is that feeling that- Donald Mustard. There's something over the horizon. That's this guy. Right? And it feels like we're there again, that we're on the cusp as an industry of, okay. of new, amazing experiences. Um, uh, I, and I'm just so grateful for all of you. We're all kind of one big team, all of us in this industry, really pushing this medium. And I'm so grateful for it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> fist bump. Go for a fist bump. Damn it. There are still lots of amazing moments coming up in the show. We've got more performances, and of course, the game of the year announcement. But, oh, whoa, what's going on? Technical difficulties. Okay. Uh-oh, we've got a secret announcement to make through our snow TV. This is Joker. I've infiltrated the theater. Is this gonna be uh, actors in the game? Wait, seriously? He went alone to the game awards? But it's so far away. Why is he there? There's only one thing the Phantom Thieves of Heart specialize in. He's there to steal a treasure. Have you already sent a calling card? We're not the ones sending a card Joe this Joe. time. In fact, we've been invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. Is this, like a, is this a Smash Brothers Persona character? We'll be going up against the best of the best. Can't wait to see our fearless leader show his stuff. Is this Smash Brothers DLC character announcement? It's one of these. It's one of these. It's Persona. I am thou. Thou. Show the strength of thy will and rage against all challengers.
What? G Red G Red <laughs> We meet again. Quite the Damn surprise. It. So uh, all right, so Super Smash Brothers coming out tonight, but it looks like uh, I know. Great choice of shirt here, Reggie. <laughs> Uh, the internet uh, is going crazy. Uh, the announcement of uh, Joker Persona 5 coming to Smash Brothers. Everyone's in this game. Everyone's in this game, right? So we've said that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate it is the biggest crossover in video game history. Dare I say, the Joker biggest from crossover Persona 5 is the first DLC and character. Brothers might have some issues. And, what uh, the fuck? And so, <laughs> and so, yes, you know, the the uh, the games about to launch. We're super excited. We're that's super that's excited cool, to like, get the fans I don't, the whatever. opportunity to summon a Persona yes. into the game. Amazing. All right, so uh, you said his Challenger mic Pack like, One. Fuck is Gino. The, the DLC fighters that will come out. And where's Pucci? Yeah. And where's so Pucci? this gives you a flavor of how we're approaching the DLC. So the DLC, there's going to be five characters. Each character will come with a stage. It'll come with a collection of music. Yeah. These are going to be characters that are new to the series, just like Joker from Persona 5, yes. characters that you would not anticipate to be in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We're super excited about this. Yes. The fans can go and they could get the fighters pass to get all of the five fighters that'll be yeah. coming to the series. We're tremendously excited. Well, I would think you'd be even more excited is because Persona, tonight, Persona is a third Smash party is about character. to launch, who made, right? Who, who Smash does is about Persona? to launch. Yes. And, uh, who, is the, who develops, who's the publisher of that game? You, you, you know you needed Atlas. to have a really good show for me An to be Atlas here character. versus <laughs> you've been here every year for us, making Reggie. Making sure everything's going great for the launch. So, yeah, we're super excited. Smash is uh, just minutes, minutes away, away yes. and it's going to be fantastic. All right, well, Reggie, you've been here every year for us for the Game Awards. We really appreciate it. And before we go, uh, maybe we should head to the stage for the Game Awards Orchestra. A little something for Super Smash Brothers. Reggie, great to see you. Enjoy. <laughs> That, if you're a, yeah, if you're a Persona fan, that's fucking, seriously, you, you probably shit your pants right now. At least they're having fun up on that stage. That's how you can tell, it's a good band. Band is drunk. All right, where are we at? We need. I'm just, I cannot believe that these have not been said. No Miyamoto. No Jeff can't get the mic back from presenter. Nobody's at cutting edge. Nobody's sleeping in the audience. We drop some mic. No banjo kazooie game. There, there was a heckler like that. Sleeping has happened. When somebody, somebody asks, what does the music mean? The music is when somebody is on the stage too long accepting an award, they get played off by the music. You know what I mean? And they like they keep talking and they get played One off. More big score. We got enough money to leave. What do you think? Yeah. Nothing means more to me than this game. DLC for Red Dead? Ford, I would happily die. No. Oh, I wish things were different. PC? A PC announcement would be fucking huge. Trust me, Arthur. Just one more. I know there's a goddamn train. Uh, I don't want to kill all these foo Dutch. Just you. 
PC, right? What about loyalty? Loyal to what matters. Do as you're goddamn told. And PC and not coming out like in a year and a half. That'd be a big deal. Red Dead Redemption 2. Out now. Rated M for the Not even an announcement, it was just an ad. We're all getting we're all getting so hyped up for a fucking ad. Nine out of ten, amazing. For the Nintendo oh, nine out of ten for Nintendo Switch presents Diablo 3. For a second, I thought that said like 33% on Metacritic. I was like, oh fuck, really? That's terrible. Why would you advertise that? Building a sound identity. Like a 33%. It's a shitty so game. Evolved personality. So we kind of started from scratch for this one and really thought about what is Lara's mindset and how we can bring that forward with the sound. Yeah, Diablo 3 has been re-released as much as Skyrim at this point. When I heard the first time the jungle in Dolby Atmos, I was well. That's that's incredible. We're all conditioned to look at it as so, a 2D image and honestly though, to believe that it's it's more than a 2D image. What's the most likely to happen here? It goes this way. But what this bump and this huge soundscape, it makes it feel like revolutionary it in a sound blanket and it's, it's magical. Oh, you taking a piss? I mean, but that leads when us to build, Miyamoto build, has not made an appearance. A story Elijah Wood hasn't world. showed up. And that's what Gino's not in Smash Bros. really Brothers. brings to the media where your feeling this that you are this is the money maker right here guys Re from like here this is the only way it's possible <laughs> just like i forgot i was at, I'm on webcam sleeping happened There's been a ton of hecklers. No, but for a real heckle, the person presenting has to respond and be like, yeah, 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 all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we, we, we already saw this, though. So is Dead by Daily trying to do a thing where they... Mm, they're trying to get people to buy and download this new character so then they can move on from games and make a movie about that character in like a couple of years or is that an actual horror movie character all right it's finally that time here to present our final award as a member of the team that won game of all the right. year in 2016 revolutionary again, get the music year, and somebody yelling ongoing game from overwatch here's the vice president of blizzard entertainment jeff kaplan I think he might, it might happen revolutionary ago we were honored to be up here to accept the game of the year for overwatch it, it was so awesome and it meant so much to our team it's so special right now to be able to share that with another studio red dead here to celebrate all of the nominees for game of the year bring them all on stage the game awards orchestra what oh oh i thought <laughs> okay i thought they were presenting Oh, they're gonna do a piece from every uh, every game. I see. Dude, the orchestra has been. It's been they've been on screen more than Phil Spencer has. Has a very large chance to win. For my 
understanding. It is a very, very fun game. It has a lot of interesting mechanics, a lot of good puzzles, and a very good fight sequence, very good combat. From what I've been But Arthur's gonna bring it. Arthur's gonna bring it. And then we're gonna get ten people on the screen. We're gonna get a pop figure in the shot. Someone's gonna say cutting it. We're gonna get bingo on, the, on this last market. They're gonna bring up a pop figure of Arthur or something, right? This sounds like it's pre record I don't think it is. I don't know how you win. It's fucking Return of the King, like I said. Also, Spider-Man. There were some really good games this year. I'm actually sitting here thinking about it. There were at least two or three that, yeah, I, I would absolutely say. Like, at least four. We didn't get any boos from the audience. No soda or candy sponsorships. No new Banjo-Kazooie game. Let's see it. Game of the year. All right. All right. Gotti, who gets the Gotti? Here it goes. God damn it, Arthur! And the game award for game of the year goes to Red Dead. Fuck it. Fuck the ceremony. Fuck this award ceremony. Thing I've ever been a part of in my whole life. I think it's seriously. Yeah, I got a war. Oh, what a great fucking game that was. Remember when you were oh boy, right boy. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's like fifteen people. And they're all drunk. At least one of them is drunk. Wow, so <laughs> Where is it? Second. Where is it? Thank you, everybody. Where is it? Somebody fist bump. It's a great night for all of us. Somebody did a fist bump over there. Thank you, and thanks so much to the team back in Santa Monica. Just Where's an amazing, amazing group of talent that um, really pulled together to realize this beautiful vision that Corey, Corey brought to uh, the franchise reboot for God of War. <laughs> Um, and I'm it's so great thankful that game, Corey like, returned back to the studio and joined our family Somebody once fall? again. And, um, Somebody trip? You are an amazing visionary. Love your partnership. Yumi Yang. Yeah! It's really hard to see the behind the scenes work that goes into producing a game when like When he got God up there, he fucking fell down. And, um, the triumph that it is. All right, pull up a God of War pop figure. Steadfast ability Come on. To thread that very tricky production the needle in the balance figure? with Corey's and the team's creative vision, we would not be where we are on this stage today. So thank you to Yumi and the entire production team. Come on, somebody hold a pop figure. And you guys, the fans around the world, um, Together, we all dream big dreams, and that's an amazing feeling every day when we walk into the studio to create something <laughs> like God of War. Um, I want to thank my children for being the very best 
and all of the families throughout the God of War team who rode this <laughs> Elijah wave Wood's with us. Not here. Thank you so much for the support that we were given over the course of many, many months, many hours, many years. This, and no, lastly, this, no, a guy sleeping. Scott Brody, tremendous support to the Santa Monica studio, Shuhei Yoshida and Sean Layden. Really stood behind us for a studio reboot. Somebody pull up a And a re-envisioning of this franchise, which this, takes a lot of so, guts at that level. So easy. Um, and the entire PlayStation family who stood behind us was in that partnership over many years to really realize what this franchise was capable of. Thank you, everyone. Corey? Just pull it out of your pocket and just go like, this guy right here. I'll be quick because they're flashing to please wrap it up, but I just want to say every single game that was nominated up here is an absolute <laughs> no masterpiece. So please give it up for all of them. Say it revolutionary. Again, please give it up for every creator. Say it revolutionary. All creators of games creators of movies, creators of comic books, Say it. creators of every single thing that enriches our lives, that makes us believe that magic is real. No, revolutionary. It's right, revolutionary shit. That's the music playing him off. It's something he's gonna have. Jeff, this is your last opportunity, you gotta say it. Congratulations to the God of War team for winning Game of the Year. Let's check the Twitch leaderboard and see who was the most successful predicting all the winners tonight. Uh, amazing. Well, it's been a great year for games, as everyone has said. Thank you so much for watching the Game Awards. We'll see you next year for the Game Awards 2019. No, Good night. I no, really appreciate it. Thank no, you no, no. You need to say revolutionary. No, you didn't, they didn't say revolutionary. <laughs> RFM has given up plenty community stuff. I gave a hundred earlier, 20 here. Thank you so much, RFM. 20 fucking subs, thank you. They said it in the beginning with Reggie. Are you sure? Give a link. Are you sure? Wait, I gotta rewind. Hold on, I gotta we gotta watch that. Hold on. Give me a second. We need to see if they said it. Holy shit! Soviet winner giving out five community subs. Fist fight. <laughs> claim, 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 claim. What are you guys claiming? What are you doing? Claim? What is claim? Uh, Bebraham giving out 10 community subs. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a, it's a meme. Oh, well, okay. Thank you, Bebraham, for 10 community subs. Let me I, let me see if we got bingo, because I, I'm, I'm going to watch... Well, when they were on stage, we'll see. I need to get into here. Where is it? Uh, right there. All right. We need to go open up the video. Lightning Rider, five community subs. Get rough. Whatever. I, get rid of the dot. Alright, I need to... For those of you that didn't know, here's like the... What we were doing. There. Just uh, people were saying I can't see behind the, uh, the dot. So, we need to find out if we actually had bingo though. Let me get that going real quick. If 
I even can. I can't, like, interact with this anymore. Did I, my, my, like, feed died. Okay, hold on. Let's go over here. So, you guys saying that they said revolutionary. Or revolutionize. I would take that. If you were on Jeopardy, that counts too. Did anybody remember where that was? Videos. Okay, hold on. It was like in the beginning, right? To invite new here we go. Okay, all right, all right. Here they are. Here they are. Leaders and players. This. Uh, please join me in welcoming from Nintendo, Reggie Fizeme, from PlayStation, Sean Layden, and from Xbox, Phil Spencer. No, wrong. Okay, here we go. Tonight at the Game Awards, we come together as a community to celebrate video games. Celebrate video games. The most compelling games. and immersive compelling. form of entertainment in the world. As an industry, we are most powerful when we come together, united by our common love for the art form of games. Right. But well, where do you say that? When do you say it? We join with the viewers and gamers around the globe to celebrate creativity, innovation, and the role <laughs> that video games play in popular culture. every word besides revolutionary. <laughs> Together, we will continue to invite new voices, creators, and players into our worlds. Because when everybody plays, we all win. Because when we see the strength of a united gaming community, we remember that we've never seen a challenge that you can't defeat. They didn't say, I knew they didn't say it. We're united in our commitment to leading and pushing leading. this industry united. forward with new games, new experiences, and new ways for everyone to play. Good luck to all the nominees. And congratulations to all the winners. And enjoy the Game Awards. Jeff, take it away. Thank you so much, guys. Liars. We didn't get bingo. Sorry. Even if let's let's fill in even the ones that that may not have even happened, right? So we didn't get cutting edge. No pop figurine. Give me a break. That was so easy too. Take the hundred subs back. <laughs> audience boos. Nobody, no, they did. We didn't get like a real good boo. Group presentation, that that barely happened. <laughs> oh, you guys are booing now. <laughs> you got to use the free Red Dead one on the left, but where does it? Okay, but what? That was like up here. I can't just put it over. Disgruntled nominee tweets within 10 minutes of their loss. <laughs> well, we got bingo then. Quick search Twitter. Does, he doesn't know. Jonah Hill does not count as Elijah Wood. <laughs> oh, we got five, four different bingos. Mobile game, but we didn't get a new Call of Duty announcement or a Diablo 4 teaser. <laughs> oh my fucking god. RVM is another 20 community subs from RVM. Dude, uh, you're like matching 
nearly you're, you what 40 holy shit dude thank you so much i mean i was just i just gave money to myself but you gave money to me so thank you so fucking much dude jesus christ very generous of you for real i'm looking you right in the eye too look at you right in the fucking eye well, it wasn't by accident. Like, I bought it. I was going to do it. I, 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 I was going to do it regardless. Even if we didn't get bingo, I was going to do it. I was going to be like, who cares? Like, boom, right? But I, I didn't know that, like, completing, like, actually purchasing them is like, then they go out. I thought, like, I had maybe, a, I could give them out. So. And like, what the fuck? Guy buys a hundred subs and like accidentally what the heck? Just cancel your credit card. No. I'm glad. Uh, get off of me. Fucking Red Dead didn't win. Uh, I'm glad. Whatever, it's good. Needs Vaseline, 10 community subs. Thank you. Thank you so much for your 10 community subs. And that that's it. That's it, man. That's the end of the Game Awards. Big night for holy fuck. That's 10 more from Pinman. I need to play God of War. I think that's... that's I gotta play God of War now. I have to just play it. I'll probably stream it. Oh my fucking god, what is happening in this chat room? That's 10 subs from Kairotobi. 10 from Pinman, 10 from Kairotobi. <sighs> Holy shit. You guys are fucking awesome. Play Fortnite. No, but that's, that's gonna be my time. That's all I really wanted to do tonight. Uh, I will see you guys, uh, but first of all, holy shit, there's so many fucking subs on this list, are you kidding me? This is an insane amount of subscri subscriptions. My god. Well, uh, let's go back in time here. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking subs. Commander Pepper with five community subs. Uh, I didn't have notifications on tonight, but I do want to at least touch on a few that came in. There was $50 that came in. Let me go back here. Thanks for the sub. Hey, thanks for being here, man. Uh, I did see 50 bucks came in. Uh, I want to make sure I figure this out because I kind of lost it somehow. I only read $50 bit messages. <laughs> That's not true. I want to make sure I can at least go back far enough. There we go. Okay. Don't read this. Well, I just did. Is there any reason why this is only pulling from like 40 minutes ago? Don't ask me why. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end the stream here. Let's be right back. Let's get the outro on just so you know. I'll see you guys again on Saturday. Probably for Dreamcast. Uh, I'm looking to try to get some of that going. Should be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching the Game Awards. It was pretty interesting. Too bad we didn't get a uh, bingo. Kind of annoying. But have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. So you're either going to see Smash Brothers or Dreamcast on Saturday and Sunday. Depends on how much I want to play it and unlock stuff and do things, you know. But uh, for the purposes of um, 
I don't know why Streamlabs does this for some reason. If there's too many notifications, it just deletes all of them that were at the bottom. Why? I don't understand. Isn't the whole purpose of this thing to keep track of bits and subs? I don't understand. But if you take it off, have a good rest of your night. Uh, what's, what's the German mustard site? That very useful website. There it is. All right. So this is from, yeah, that's a good time frame. So we had, there we go. Excellent, okay. So thank you to, uh, we're gonna go back to front here. Thank you, extra cheesy for the $1, haha, <laughs> first bits I win. It's not a contest, man. Bake me home, thanks for $2 here. I heard somebody equally as compact as you is hosting the Oscars this year. I don't know who's hosting the Oscars, but I don't know what that means. But thanks. Uh, Divus, thank you, Divus for the $3. No message, just three bucks. Pretty much every single damn stream, man, thank you. Uh, Mr. Cloud, Mr. Cloud, thanks for the $10. No message, thank you for 10 bucks, Mr. Cloud. A dollar from I Am Monk, you're my game of the year. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Extra cheesy again, thanks for one dollar. Dude, I can't believe they're announcing No Man's Sky this year. It's gonna be epic. No Man's Sky really, that just felt really out of place. I can't, I can't give a reason why that was there. It's weird. But thank you, Mostly Lost, for the one dollar. There were two bald guys on stage in the orchestra. Oh, we got them. They've done a lot to make that game better. But is it better than Warframe? You know what I mean? A lot, a lot, but not enough. I see. But thank you, uh, mostly lost for the $1. Thank you, Wild Fox, for the $1. Hey, Jeremy, it's 3 a.m. while I'm writing this, and I decided to stay and watch because I had way too much caffeine today. I've touched on this subject before, but I found that keeping myself busy with something, whether it be games or crafting, helps a lot to keep my mental health up. What are some of the things you do to deal with bad times? Um, mostly, I would say, is kind of just... When you're lying down in bed, anytime I lie down in bed, I, I, the, the decompressing, I think, your thoughts, whether you're in the shower or, honest to God, I'm going to be real with you here, and when you're taking a shit, is just like, I, I get a lot of, uh, I improve my mental health by taking a shit, taking a shower, or lying in bed and compressing thoughts. Uh, that, that might be, you might, you might give me some disgusted faces here, but... A lot of, a lot of my growth has come from when I was sitting on the toilet. All at the same time. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. But yeah, that's really when you can, I don't know, alone time for me. Especially when you kind of just you and only you. You can really do a lot of good for yourself. Shower and on the toilet, for real. But, uh, thank you, Wild Fox. I'm sorry that you stayed up this late. But thank you. 
Uh, Paza Jan, thanks for the one dollar. I genuinely clicked off my porn to watch your stream. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a th uh, welcome, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ass Burns, Asa Burns, thanks for the two dollars here. Or three dollars, actually, thank you, Asa Burns. Flug Boy, thanks for the one dollar. Destiny was made by Bungie. Fuck. Extra cheesy thanks for the two bucks. Maybe if you dye your hair green, you'll become number one, like Ninja. <laughs> if I dye my hair green, it's all falling out. You understand, guys? Uh, luxur Luxurian Hat, thanks for the $20. They say cutting edge. Are you at the Game Awards, and did you present? because then we get to put the blue circle over the marker there. Thank you for the $20. 20 bucks. Hey, Smelly Boy, thanks for the $1. Fallout New Vegas just got a massive story overhaul mod called Fallout New California. It's basically a brand new game with a brand new story. And the quality is breathtaking. And it'd be awesome if you took a look at it and gave the creators a well-deserved plug. New California. Interesting. I've never heard of it until now, but... Modders are... a dedicated bunch. Takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to put something like that together, so... Applaud. Applause to that. <laughs> nice try, Todd. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Uwigi, for the $10 here. Ring your mom and thank her right now. I'm not on the stage doing awards. But thank you. Hey, Golden Cricket, thanks for the, this, the $50 here from Golden Cricket. 50 bucks. I'm glad you made a decision to cast this, Jerma. I sincerely hope you make this on, on this stage or another one of these days. I don't know what the hell I would even do, man. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm not going to get invited to the Game Awards. I don't think that'll ever happen. Come out dressed as a clown. They wouldn't ever invite me back. I already was there. I was the Muppet. <laughs> Best joke. They don't. They don't tend to invite small streamers. See, that's a, dub that's a double joke right there. I'll give that to you. But thank you for the $50, Golden Cricket. It's a lot of money. Thank you. Thank you, the Swiss Giant, for the $15. No message, just kappas. Thank you. Timmy Tim Tan, thanks for the $1. When you play World of Light, go left. That's a spoiler. I don't, I don't want to read a spoiler. Captain Jake, 1998, thanks for the $1. Hey, it's my favorite compact streamer. How does it dangle? It dangles well. It's going well. Thank you, Dubsky dude, for the $1. I feel like such a boomer because I, I think you were literally the only redeeming thing out of this whole thing. That furry on stage was uh, what, just having a good time. You know what I mean? Just, just trying to have a good time. Just trying to relax a little. You know what I mean? Like, it's, don't worry about it. Thank you, Dubsky Dude, though. Uh, Acid Burns again, thanks for one dollar. No message, just four or five dollars here in a row. Uh, Flying Muffin Bunnies, thanks for the one dollar. They say the dot. The dot with a pug. <laughs> There's Garfield the Monday Killer for the one dollar. Thanks, Garfield. Uh, breaking news, read all about it. Spider-Man got snubbed for Best Game Award. They just couldn't handle all those Mary and Miles stealth missions, I suppose. That's a real shame. Spidey has been getting a real raw deal this year. Especially sad since Andrew Garfield played Spider-Man, so Garfield's a connection to Spider-Verse. Even if- oh my fucking god.
That's true. That, like, that is so painfully true. Andrew Garfield played Spider-Man, so I feel a connection to him. Also, where's Earthworm Jim in Smash? I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Garfield. Thank you, Blue Comet, for the one dollar. Uh, thank you, Tetra Regaton, for the twelve dollars and twenty-two cents. They say do not do something under any circumstances here, and I'm not going to do it. And then Dedo Dedo, at the end, gave ten dollars. Play Fortnite or lose best streamer. I already lost. I, I didn't win, guys. Come on. Wasn't even close. Uh, a few more at the end. Carrot, thanks for the $1 carrot. Hey, Jeremy, I'm turning 18 in about a minute. So I thought I'd celebrate by helping you pay back those 100 community subs. These past four months of being subscribed, you've been a blast. Crazy to think I've been watching you since the TF2 days. Thank you, Carrot. Uh, happy birthday. And, no, nah, I was just... Uh, I, I was planning on doing it anyways. It was, I was like, oh, if we get bingo, I, I, like, I actually was talking about that last night to uh, Italics. I was like, oh, I'm going to get like 100 community subs if we get bingo. And then I forgot about it until like two and a half hours into the stream. And then I bought them. And then I, 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 I was under the assumption that I could, but you, know, you saw what happened. I just completed the purchase and 100 community subs went through. That's what happened. I'd never done it before. Do a hundred more. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody was like, even if you fucked it up, it doesn't mean it's not illegal. I don't think it's illegal. I just gave Twitch money. And a hundred people can now use emotes in the channel. <laughs> pyramid scheme. I'm pyramid scheming myself. But thank you to uh, 420 Squid for the five dollars. Clueless Sniper for one dollar. Zaza's alt for the $1. Remember back when you were a top 1,000 streamer and never expected you'd make it all the way to number one? Can't wait to read about you getting arrested in five years after waiting, wasting all your money on slots and cocaine. <laughs> Thanks, Kyra Toby, for the $1. Hey, Germa, the uh, Tough Wrench asks if you're going to play Metal Gear... When am I going to play Metal Gear Solid 5? Uh, I don't think I'm going to play Metal Gear Solid 5 on stream. I did it a long time ago. I already played it. I already got enjoyment out of it. I'm not sure I would stream it. But thank you, though. And thank you to Styx Renegade for the $1. Knowing you have uh, colitis and IBD, ever have an abscess? I just had my second one. I almost forgot how painful it was. Hopefully I can reach him remission again soon. At least the pain is gone. Um, I don't know. I've never had an abscess before. I've had something called a fissure before. Which sucks. But, not that. Thankfully, I've been pretty much okay recently. Like, completely. But I really, uh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Two. That's not good. That sucks. Hopefully, you do get into remission soon. Fissures suck also. Oh, yeah, they do. It's not good. But thank you, Sticks. Hopefully you uh, get better real soon. Uh, extra cheesy for the $1. Thank you. They say Johnny Bravo will be the next character in Smash. I'm from the future. <laughs> uh, Modus Ponus. Thanks for the $1. And then Raving Happy. Thanks for two bucks. No messages on those last two. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you on Saturday. We'll do something fun. Oops. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Let's roll the credits. There's going to be so many subs. There's going to be a lot. Just fair warning here. Here they come. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Yeah, sleep tight, guys. I'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for sticking around. Read them? I can't read these. No, I will never be able to read these. Oh, tonight was rigged. I don't think so. I think God of War probably deserves it. I was just kidding. I was fucking around. When, uh... I was doing the whole, um... Fallout 76 can't win 2018 Game of the Year. Yeah, because... No, yeah, you're right, it can't. <laughs> I wanted to be mad. Thought Fortnite was gonna win. I really am just stupid, and I just put Fortnite in a giant circle in the middle. It didn't even help either. Connor got robbed. It would have been nice to see Connor win. But there was some really good competition up there. There was some very, very good competition. Why was Connor not in the Rumble? Uh, I actually was going to make him and Hank as a tag team. But it ran out of time. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I ran out of time. There wasn't enough. I, I crunched it to the very last minute on that uh, stream, so. You didn't make Connor, but you put him the quiet man. Yeah, but the quiet man was so relevant at that particular second, you know? He was very, very relevant. So again, I'll see you guys on Saturday. We will hopefully be doing... I don't know. I really don't know. It really, it really depends on how much fun Smash really is. If Smash is... Alright, whatever. It's I'm just playing it. Spongebob Movie 2004. Ashens is up. But is that Did that just come out today? How have I not heard about that yet? I was looking forward to that game. How long has that been out for? Interesting. Okay, well, I'll get to check that out, too. But yeah, that's it, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you for watching the Game Awards with me. See you soon. Take care, guys.